Skywatch is, takes place, I'm gonna give you the very short synopsis, uh, on the continent of Cassini, in uh, we're really focused on the city and the nation of Mina, the Mina capital, uh, being the largest city in this land. And uh, it's a, you know we're looking time period wise, roughly equivalent to early Victorian era. Really, the birth of technology has occurred at this point, except slight twist. Technology in this case utilizes magic, so we call it Magitech. Uh, it has been infusing magical energies from the world into technological objects in order to get them to do things that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Uh, magic in this world is fairly pervasive. Many people have access to it, uh, some at different levels. There are straight mages, people with uh, fairly powerful magical skills, and others who can uh, utilize their magic for particular purposes, just practicing rolling some dice there. <laughs> Things are looking good. Good. Uh, uh, but a few thousand years before the start of our campaign, there were spirits as well. And there still remain spirits, but there were seven great spirits. Now, each of them represents a day of the week. And so colloquially, days of the week are still referred to as we in English are fond of, uh, are fond of but there are other more official names for the days of the week, depending on which great spirit ruled them. Uh, those great spirits taught humans magic taught them how to extract that magical energy and use it for different purposes. And then humans got greedy, fought the great spirits, and destroyed them. Or at least that is the story that prevails today. Um, others may suggest that in fact those great spirits still exist and are uh, waiting for something. Which or is they're right. gone. Uh, who knows? Who knows? In Amotania, we say they are waiting for the right person who is so beautiful that the spirits themselves fall in love with that human. Yes, and that return. is emotionally this... true, if not factually. No, like, like a great force, it once burned down and all the spirits' energy is coming back together and will grow into an even larger. Wait, a great forest burns down? So, that is a yeah, there's a, a lot of, forest. the jury's still out on this one. What is re remnant of these spirits are large seals, magical symbols that are in the sky that uh, rise and set with each day, uh, midnight to midnight, and, and mark the passage of time. At this point, they mostly just serve to show uh, that time has moved forward, ticked forward another day. Although last time, our heroes began noticing strange phenomenon that was maybe just a twitch out of the corner of their eye or perhaps uh, indicative of something larger that is occurring in our world. Uh, they are all members of Skywatch, a organization, a multinational organization that protects people against magical problems, uh, now meaning in the city of Mina, most magic-related issues that the city guard encounters gets passed on to Skywatch. Which brings us to the events of last time. Our characters were assigned to investigate some robberies that had occurred that appeared to have very little connection other than the fact that there was no signs of entry or struggle or combat. Um, they went to the three different locations that were uh, had been targeted most recently and found that large numbers of raw materials, specifically silver, gold, and iron, had been robbed from these places. People lacked memory of the events that had happened. Some of the robberies had even occurred during uh, broad daylight. After some investigation, they found some traces of magic, most likely Magitech. Uh, it didn't bear the hallmarks of a mage or magic user or a spirit, uh, and leaving it to be some sort of magic tech influence. So they tracked down some smugglers of Magitech at a well-known establishment called the Pale and Pitcher. They serve things in pails and pitchers. Uh, and in a maybe moment of uh, narrative glory, uh, decided that the best way to apprehend these uh, n known or now determined smugglers was to uh, start a fight in the middle of the tavern, uh, which is where we find our characters now. Uh, in fact, to the point that I still have our initiative cards in the order that they were in. Oh, wow. Um, so maybe if each of you want to say, like, in one sentence, what has happened to your character during the course of this fight so far. I believe I've uh, hit someone twice with yes. my sword. Um, yes. I mean, I uh, and then in between hits, I'm asking them to surrender because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, I'm following the the code of ethics <laughs> yep. put forth by Skywatch. Um, but it's uh, they're they're not seeming to do that. Yeah, somehow you're just giving them such such time to surrender <laughs> to you. Yeah, they're definitely definitely gonna do it. Seems likely. Maybe next time. 
Uh, I uh, I swung dashingly from the chandelier, uh, landed on my ass, uh, and I don't remember exactly uh, if I, if I was shot. I you think I was shot. shot. Yeah, and it was shot in by my one of the Magitek users uh, in my shoulder. Yes, it was Magitek that uh, that shot right. me, uh, and the the magic took hold of me too. Did some nastiness, uh, and that's where I am right now. Is I'm prone on the floor, but happy as a clam. I am but a bud in a sea of <laughs> roses, and listening to my elders, I decided to not uh, kill everyone, and instead of been attempting to use uh, sleepy pollen. And that's not working. <laughs> also, flourishing of of the scarf. Just, I am not the wind, and so it does not wrap. <laughs> yes, yes, it does not wrap. Lorenzo is also not the wind. He is a fabulous storyteller who has uh, summoned snakes in the doorway, or at least a vision of snakes to keep the uh, ne'er-do-wells from running out the door. He has put a bucket upon a man's head, stepped on that bucket, slid down the entire bar, and deposited himself far away from that man because that man keeps trying to attack the very lightly armored Lorenzo. Yes. Um, which brings us to the, the people they were fighting. There were two Magitek users. One was tall woman with a green cloak. Uh, the other was a shorter, uh, stockier individual of fairly undetermined gender uh, with a nasty scar across their face. Uh, That's one of them the one I'm hitting, I think. Was, yes, yeah. one of them was throwing. No, you're hitting the, the and then there are two other oh, that's right. uh, people with them who are not wielding Magitek uh, appear right. to be sort of uh, more guard-like, probably still involved with the smugglers, but not as as important. Uh, we might refer to them as grunts, mm. <laughs> cannon fodder, mm. whatever you want to Storm describe it as. Stormtroopers, uh, minions, brown cloaks. Yeah, no. and we're, we're all on the same page there. Great. Uh, so don't ask me what their names are or for physical description. Can I name them? No. Uh, I maybe think. if you kill one of them, Larry you can Mo. name them. No. What? Is it Larry and Mo? Sure, they're all they're all just Joe, 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 and Joe. I was gonna get one Gustav mm. and one the Romana, the Romana, the Romana, the Romana, the Romana and Gustav. Great, you're fighting them too. Um, and then the two uh, other individuals, one of whom had crossed the room, I believe, was uh, now has a bucket on their head. Was that the one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, and the other one who has uh, wielding some sort of magitech gun, who is still in the corner and had shot at Tustin. Which brings us at the very top of our initiative turn uh, to Tustin, in fact. Uh, all right, so Tustin is currently on the ground. Uh, he is going to uh, roll around onto the ground. A point and... of inquiry. Mm -hmm. Is the um, uh, the effects of heightened drama still in yeah. effect? It is not. That has ended. <laughs> okay. I clarified that at the end of last. I just wanted to be sensitive. Okay. Now we're back in normal combat, where you have to get stun points by rolling doubles. But at least it's less complicated. <laughs> it's true. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, he is going to uh, roll over on the ground and flip up back onto his feet. Mm -mm. Uh, and then he's going to use his major action. Uh, he uh, knocks open the, the barrel of his rifle uh, and he pulls out uh, two more shells from his bandolier with his teeth and spits them into his uh, into his rifle, gets them all loaded up, takes aim, and is ready for his next turn. Okay, uh, so two minor actions. Uh, that was aim and a minor and a major. Okay, cool. Because the, for the shotgun, it's a major to reload. Cool, Ada. Um, Ada will keep hitting the guy that she's been. Minion one. Minion one. Oh, Gustav. 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 Um, so again, she says, only this time poses it as a question, tries to, she's like, maybe he's not getting it. And so she goes, surrender? <laughs> what is the other one called? The, the Romanov. The Romanov. Um, does, does he respond? No, it's not his turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's generally the problem is you gotta take an action of talking and then hope to be. Eleven. Eleven uh, will hit. All right. Um, great. 
And that's 15 damage. Okay. Woo. Yeesh. It's good. He's still standing, but he's not happy. Uh, Would you call him bloodied? Oh, well beyond that. <laughs> like, like well, well beyond that. Not that I'm metagaming or anything. No, 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 not at all. Why would you ever do that? All right, next up, uh, he will respond. No, he doesn't respond. Um, okay, so we have the, the mage across the room with the bucket on his head. He's gonna take one of his minor actions to pull the bucket off of his head so he is no longer bucketed. Um, and then he's actually going to... Is it scarred or hat? Uh, this was hat. Okay. This is our cloak. This is the tall one with the cloak. She like, pulls the bucket off of her head, hair tousled, um, turns and looks at the other one and, and says, get us a way out. Um, and then is going to take a moment to um, ready what appears to be another grenade of some kind. Uh, the other one is going to nod in response to the order that they received and uh, take their gun, uh, their Magitek gun, and aim it at the wall. This is the short one that yes, I'd been- Yes, the shorter one. All right. Uh, so seeing the snakes in front of the doorway, they're going to aim slightly to the side of the doorway. They blast at the wall. Thankfully, the wall does not dodge, so they succeed in hitting it. Uh, and a massive hole, you see the bullet hit it, like a small hole appears at first, and then the entire wall just kind of oh. shifts in its matter. And so the, there's a massive hole spins out of it as the wood warps and twists as the form of it is entirely shifted, creating a large hole in the wall. Hmm. But it's not Wednesday. It's not. It's not the day of form. No, it's not. But you can still use form magic on other days of the week. Mm. <laughs> um, well, now we kind of know what they used to get yep. into the bank. Uh, into they the are going pool. to then kind of turn it and essentially guard the hole that they've created in the wall um, rather than so they're readying an aim action for the next time while the other mage crosses the room to get to them. Uh, Corvus. So I am... Corvus attempted to stab Gustav, and that didn't work. Yes. What I'm hoping is that me being super, super secretive, wearing all black in a very well-lit tavern, yes. um, can stab Gun Mage in the back. Um, I would say uh, Gun Mage is less likely because he is intentionally positioning himself to be aware of attackers. Mm, okay. um, if you want to stealthily stab someone, the person Ada is attacking right now would be your best option. You would get your bonus damage to them because they are already in combat with someone. All right. They will do that. Okay. Hey, that's cool. Now, before you give me anything, I do get stunt points, okay. which means I can do something cool. Yep. Because I'm just going to stab him with these cool wooden stakes I have. I have four stunt points, and I'm going to go for... Seize the initiative. Okay, so you want to jump yourself up to the top of the initiative? Yeah, so nice. Corvus, uh, they want to, like, stab the stake into the person's shoulder and then use it as, like, a leaping off to the front to whatever oh, the next thing they need yes. to do. Okay. Um, and it was 16. 16 will definitely hit. Cool. Uh, how much damage? Remember you get your extra d6. Nine. You lodge. Oh, the, sorry. 13. Okay. That's significantly better, but regardless, <laughs> um, you lodge the, the, the wooden blade into his shoulder blade and press down on him. He slinks down. He screams a like bloody croak comes up through his voice as he collapses on the ground. He's probably bleeding out, if not already dead, given he was being attacked by a great sword and now stabbed with wooden stakes. So I would consider that all. So would you say he surrendered? Yeah. Yeah, like, he is ground, no right. longer actively right. fighting you. Nice. Um, and that will bump you, Corvus, back to the top of the initiative. Um, so now Lorenzo. Oh, uh, yes. Lorenzo. Um, I wish to... Um... Um, I think I cast another illusion okay. uh, on the now open door, and the illusion will be the folding effect that I saw. It like unfolds, and then it keeps like uh, uh, You're the trying sort to make of, it appear that the wall has closed back up. Yeah, that it's okay. it's in flux and very dangerous. Like it would <gasps> kill you if you ran through it. Okay. So a repeating motion. Um, 
Um, I rolled it out mainly uh, to make sure I didn't get any stump points, which I did not. Um, if someone wants to disbelieve it, uh, they can make a willpower self-discipline check against uh, 16th. Okay. Um, I'll have them do that on their turn. I will also uh, uh, put my guard up. Okay. Uh, the goon, one of them is dead. Uh, uh, his soul has surrendered back to the spirits. Yes, his, his soul has been surrendered back to the greater spirits. He is well, now one with the dirt. No answers from that one, Ada. Uh, the other one uh, will spin around and uh, sees you having just stabbed someone. So they're going to uh, attempt to stab you. Say they have, I don't remember what they had. They've got knucks on, like pointy oh, no. knucks. <laughs> Yeah, so they're gonna just punch you in the face. Uh, 13, so ah, yeah. ah, it's just one below your turn. <laughs> okay, so you will miss. Uh, that puts it at your turn, Corvus. Oh. Because you're at the top of the initiative now. Great. Corvus jump, was jumping over the person's body and yeah. then is going to release just a laugh, and as that happens, spores are just gonna slink out of their mouth okay. and just try to make the other one fall asleep. I'm fall asleep? Three magic okay. points. Fall asleep. Fall asleep. And not the eternal sleep. No, but not, just the, the, not the eternal sleep of the return uh, of the Important and distinction. What's important? Ooh. 16. That'll hit. Okay, uh, roll your damage. Oh, yeah. Not as good. Six. Six total? Yep. Three dice? Wow. Yep. Okay. Um, he like... <laughs> <laughs> He's still awake. Uh, Tustin. Okay, so, to be clear, uh, the two main people we're pursuing are currently guarding the exit. One is guarding the exit. The other one has now crossed the room and is about was about to exit. All right. The one who's about to exit, uh, I take my shotgun, aim at her, and breathe onto one of my bullets so it gets coated in ice. Uh, and I take a shot at her. And... 11, 14, uh, eight, uh, 21. That will hit. Great. Uh, so the effect of the ice will keep her from being able to move from her current position. And uh, the damage it does is 12 damage. Okay. Uh... She is now frozen, and her feet are frozen in ice. <laughs> uh, Ada. Uh, great, so... And that just lasts for one turn, okay. and then it goes away. So that's, which which one is she? And is there's she... the taller woman with the goose mm-hmm. holding a grenade. Okay. Um, it's her, is, but the grenade is still, like, is she able? Yeah, it, it, she's not she, immobilized. She is not immobilized. She's not unable to move from that okay. spot. Like, that's it's a feet question. thing. Yeah, so she's holding, it appears to be kind of like a, round, a sort of a spherical object with lots of uh, filigree designs um, in, I believe it was gold on this one. No, this one's covered in silver. Like, silver filigree designs yes. on it. In Amotenia, there is a chicken named Fabergé who lays eggs like this. <gasps> um, I... Let's see. Uh, other other than that uh, person, uh, I've got another minion near me, correct? Mm-hmm. Great. I would like to target them. Yeah. Go for it. And I yell, Surrender? <laughs> Surrender! <laughs> Give yourself over to the Sky Watch. Kill um, my friend who surrendered! <laughs> because he didn't do it quickly enough. We have a whole procedure. Um, a ten. Uh, that will miss. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, the mage, uh, the one who they're both going to attempt to see through your illusion. That one will succeed. That one will not succeed. <laughs> It is not dispelled, but they now know it's something. 
I so one of them, or if, as long as one person can see through it? No, it, it, it continues. It's okay. just, they're like, yeah. eh, that looks fake. Uh, so the, uh, the person who was, um, the woman appears to like scoff at your illusion. Um, seeing herself being trapped for a moment, she's going to take the grenade that she has readied in her hand and lob it into the center of the room. Uh, it lands and the, the shell on it cracks. Uh. Like, it's almost like it's made of clay and kind of stri- uh, strewn with silver. It cracks and it lands on the ground, releasing a cloud uh, into the room. It doesn't reduce your vision, but all of you uh, need to resist uh, willpower self-discipline. Oh no. Uh, is it still three dice? 16. Succeed. 13. Fail. Seven. Definitely fail. <laughs> Eleven. Definitely fail. Less, slightly less so. Uh, you are, all right, you cough a little bit as you, you breathe in. You notice that the smell of this smells a little bit like that kind of that plant that seemed to be in the room. And all of you um, will be reduced to, uh, on your next turn, you can only take one minor action as you kind of forget like you have to remember what it is that you're doing. You take, like, you're going to take a moment to have to decide like why am I here? What is what is my purpose for being for a moment? You essentially have a, a slight memory loss uh, as you breathe that in. So on your next turn, you can only take one minor action. You soon can move, essentially, or dodge. Um, all right. Uh, and they're going to scoff at your illusion. However, they slightly stuck. They then turn to their friend and say, it's an illusion. You can run through it. <laughs> it's not real. Run through the wall. Your magic worked. Uh, that person will nod uh, and jump through the open hole. Uh, at which point, I assume, does that dispel the illusion or is it still there? No. no. Uh, they jump through it. They're like, okay, I trust you, maybe. Uh, as they jump through the hole, uh, realize that it is the magic was in fact not. Uh, the magic tech still worked. And they seem to be waiting outside. They're going to wait a beat for the, their companion to catch, catch up with them. Um, but they look pretty ready to begin booking it. Uh, Lorencia. Uh, is they both outside or just one? Just one. The uh, other one is trapped. Oh, right. Um, I wish to run through the snakes. Okay. Move out through the snakes. And I cast Suggestion. Uh, on the one, I say, you fool, it is me. I'm supposed to contact you here. Uh, the spell suggestion, a single line of narrative may be placed in the target's mind, triggered by time or place. It's uh, willpower, self-discipline versus my spell power. Okay. I'm going to roll just in case. Uh, I do get six points of stunt, uh, which I will just use to um, make it harder. Um, it is in posing, uh, which means if anyone, if they try to make, it's a very dramatic uh, effect. <laughs> it, it impresses them so much that uh, if they try to make an attack, they must make a willpower courage uh, okay. check. Um, try to make me. an attack against you. But the suggestion I is uh, willpower discipline versus uh, this is Fable Arcana. Yeah, versus 16. 16, okay. Let's see. Um, but it is not their turn. So you have burst through the door, passed through the snakes. I say, you, I am your contact here. All right. Uh, the the one who uh, you attacked is going to be like, screw you, Skywatch, I'll never surrender. Oh, they no. have responded to you finally, and they're going to attack you. Great. With their I sword. look forward to it. They are going to miss terribly. <laughs> Uh, and that brings us up to Corvus. I get one minor is what you're One doing. minor. <laughs> so I'm gonna move. You're not gonna let me stealth the move. You're just gonna make me move, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna get move and I'm gonna try to like put myself uh, in between the ice mage, the mage that is iced out, mm-hmm. and the, the whole... Because as I now know, the hole is an illusion, even though it doesn't. It looks like it's just spinning. Yeah, it looks bad. That but that's gonna. Be, I'm gonna also. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, uh, Tustin. Uh, all right, my memory is kind of fogging at this point, uh, Wait, but I can. How do I use a gun again? What's what's, what's a gun? <laughs> Uh, I think I still know what a gun is. Do you? I think I still. I think I probably recognize 
that I was in combat with the person who has ice around their feet. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right up to to her and uh, just be like, Skywatch, explain yourself. Okay, Uh, Ada. Um, I will uh, actually use my miner to move over to the door. Um, And I'm just preparing for when I feel the will to act again. Great. Um, The uh, the one standing near you, the ice has now melted around their feet. Um, They are going to uh, choose to ignore you. Moving is a minor action, right? It is. Yes. They're going to choose to uh, not so much ignore you as scoff in your face and uh, say, I owe you no explanation, and then jump through the hole in the wall. Uh, uh, they're going to attempt to get past you. You didn't already an action, though, to stop them. No, because I could only move. Yep. I couldn't move and stand firm. Yep. Um, so they're going to barrel past you. Uh, Go through the opening in the door and then grab the arm of their companion as they begin running. Uh, Their companion is going to attempt to resist the spell. Uh, And they just do it. Um, As their hand gets grabbed and they get kind of drawn along, they're like, wait. And they look back and they realize that you are not the person. They're not, you are not someone that you know, you are the Skywatch uh, authority and they begin running. So they are at this point uh, running through the uh, through the city. We're gonna start booking it. Um, so you guys can choose to pursue them, uh, if you will. That is your decision. Um, that's gonna put it at Lorenzio's turn. Um, I will follow. My speed is 11. Okay. <laughs> um, and I, uh, as I do, I say, wait for me, my friends. Please do not go so quickly. <laughs> we are right. not done here. Um, you're about able to keep pace with them. Uh, they seem to, uh, at this point, they're mostly just booking straight through an alleyway. Uh, the the other person who uh, you are locked in combat with is going to try and hit you again. Yes. Go for it. They hit you! <laughs> Yay! They hit you! Uh, and this is three damage. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> yeah. My armor sucks. That. Uh, Don't you do a minimum of? Oh wait, sorry. It's four damage. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is there a minimum? Yeah. No. So it's like, open legend. Ping! And I'm just like, <laughs> I try really hard to smack you in that short sword and just clangs off your armor. <laughs> um, and then I'm like, surrender, <laughs> Corbus. <sighs> we. As Corvus can run 16. Mm. That means we can go real fast. Yes. Can I use some of those as vertical? <laughs> um, going vertical will slow you down a little bit. I will make you take that as, as an action um, to kind of get onto the roof. Like that'll be your first step. Once you're on the roof, um, I won't penal- like it won't be a penalty. I just want to like, assassin like, creep up yeah. a ramp, yeah. jump over some yeah. cool flagpoles. That, that is something that you will, a dexterity acrobatics that oh, you yeah. will need to give me. Um, so you're gonna tumble through the hole uh, in the wall like yeah. that. Um, and actually you noticed that uh, it'll close up. Actually, it's probably gonna close up right behind you. Or is it right in front of me? Cause I'm at the front. I'm trying to think, they went through. Yeah, it'll end right on their turn, so it'll be after. It'll be right before Lorenzo. Um, so it'll be right after. The snake door is right by it. Yeah, I mean there is an actual exit. Like, but I can still. It's not a big deal. You can still leap through it. It's okay. gonna stay open for for kind of the. Do you want to roll a dex to get up to the roof? The magic hole. Uh, yes. Right. So you like jump through the magic, the the hole that they tore through the wall, and then begin running towards like across the street, uh, and then up the onto the. You're trying to climb up Assassin's Creed style onto the roof that of the alleyways. That so I got an eleven, but you okay. might. But I also got stun points. So before you tell me what oh, I'd love, or not, I'd love you to tell me what stun points um, you're going to do right now. I would like to use. Uh, well, I guess exploration doesn't really work. Uh, I guess it's a combat. Yeah, would you consider that? Um, I would like to use it as a setup. So I would like to set up an attack by going up there, so they're looking at me, so that perhaps my party can catch up. Like a oh, I'm in front of you. Okay. Uh, with an eleven, yeah. you 
do not succeed in climbing up the wall. Uh, so you kind of run and you see like a couple of barrels, you know, that are perched against the wall and you're like, oh, that's going to be great. You're going to have like that Jackie Chan moment, right? Where you go bounce, bounce, bounce and like jump, jump, jump up, except the barrel is empty. And so it just tops over your entire weight, just like shifts it to the side. Aww. And so then you like roll onto the barrel and stumble forward. Uh, Did you and call so it a barrel roll? It was. It's a barrel roll. You roll over this barrel and kind of land uh, on your feet. Um, just behind them, so you are you are just behind Lorenzo. Uh, Tustin. Well, I don't cotton to no scoffing. I'll tell you that. Uh, I leap through the hole as well. Uh, I'm. Uh, do I have major actions back at yes. this point? Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Uh, then yeah, I am going to uh, take another shot with my ice uh, shell to attempt to freeze her. Okay, uh, um, this one's going to be a block. little bit harder uh, to do, so I'm okay. going to give them uh, a bonus to their defense. All righty. Because they are moving. Uh, 13, 19. What was the stat? Was it? That'll hit. Uh, all right. Uh, and do I get the benefit of it being a pinpoint attack since... She's uh, getting sniped from behind as well, or? Um, are you talking about the, uh, the, the battle because she's not aware of you? Yes. All right. Yeah, you can add that. Uh, so, 10, uh, 10, 13 damage, and it freezes her to her spot. Yeah. Okay. She's a little, she's a little worse for wear. Um, she's like caught uh, as she's trying to move through it, uh, curses loudly. Um, like the curse of the death spirit upon you. Miss I remember you. what you did now. My shoulder really hurts. Technically she didn't do that. Uh, you're, 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 Ada. you're ensemble. Ensemble, Ada. Um, is the person who j attacked me still, or did they bolt? No, they did, they have not bolted. I would like to punch them in the face. Good. Yes, you may. Yes, that is the thing you may do. Okay. After they have refused to surrender. Yes, I will punch them in the face. Left-handed. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Because I can. Uh, With the non-sword hand? Yeah. Sword hand. Punch Ugh. a hand. Actually, you know what I probably do? Cut him in half. No, I probably like just like change my like, grip on the sword, and I'm gonna like have the Pummel sword him. in my hand, the hilt in my hand, and yeah. punch them in the face. Does the pummel of your sword is it a fist? Oh, I was thinking it was a lion's head. Oh, but even but cooler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm amenable. Uh, <laughs> Maybe you have uh, ones you can just switch out, right? They're, They're twisties. Pummels. Yeah. Twist How much is like I got it for some holiday? This is like you know, from a family yeah, member. To you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> There's a set of like bells. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen will hit. Great. It's like those wine glass things, little trinkets, you know which sword is yours. <laughs> yeah, everyone has one. They're uh, standard issue swords, but they give you like, you can get a custom pommel for them. Yeah, so that punch with it, with the hilt in my hand hits and lands. All right, how much well, damage? Uh, 12 damage. Mm -hmm. This is a solid, solid punch. Uh, they are still standing, uh, but they're like, uh, that puts it at the mage. Damn it. Um, the other one, the one with the gun, is going to turn around um, and also yell a curse at you. Uh, and they're going to take aim and they're going to shoot you. Any specific <gasps> curse or just um, like? May Satarish claim your soul and devour you whole. Wow. That sounds like a major action to say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's rhyme, so it, it, it shortened it. Um, He's probably gonna have to reload at some point. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14 will hit you, right? Uh, does a glancing blow count as a hit? Yes, I then believe yes. it is. You have to meet the number or exceed it. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, this one is a less fancy bullet because he's running out of those. Um, that will do eight damage. Ooh. Yikes. All right, so my other shoulder gets winged by <laughs> a bullet. Uh, 
And I'm still standing, but... Stop tanking. I'm, I'm not trying to tank. <laughs> Wait. They wouldn't say tank, would they? That's a, a bit of a... Stop metaphor. getting shot at! Like a, a, buck, a large vat that holds water? <laughs> Um, the Make other him one stop shooting, is, there, uh, is going to attempt to break the ice. Is there a spell power on yours? Uh, yeah, the spell power is 11, so it's probably a strength might yeah. would do it. Uh, that'll do it. Uh, kicks the ice uh, and just like swears at you a lot. Mm. Uh, and then is going to pull out something else from her bag. Uh, Lorencia. Yes, um, I've lost track of who is who, so uh, Corvus mm-hmm. and I are pursuing... So uh, you, Corvus, and Tustin are all outside of yes. the tavern um, as the two made Magitech users are running down an alleyway. Corvus attempted to get onto the roof, <laughs> but did not succeed. Uh, Tustin is standing kind of probably just behind you guys, having taken a shot at them. Um, there, you know, maybe a few... Um, uh, this is what I want. So I want to see what this kid can do. Uh, I want to try to force him into shadows. So I will summon one more illusion. This time, city guard coming around the corner, and I want to summon them somewhere where to like effectively run away. They would probably go into like a shadowy area. Okay, they're running down an alleyway at this point. It's so. so dark. So it's already shadowy? It's already somewhat. It's getting shadowier as they run. It's also night. Like, night has fallen. <laughs> okay, is that case? Point. Otherwise known as the world shadow. Can I get a time check? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, last time we time checked, it was about 9.30 yeah. p.m. We're probably like about 10, about 10-ish p.m. Ooh. right now. In that case, I simply cast an illusion. Um, I'll cast, uh, I'm going to use more magic, a more powerful illusion. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this covers a 20 by 20 by 20 area. Okay. Okay. And I just changed the like height of all the blocks on the oh. ground, so like, like it's just very difficult to run on. And I like, um, and I make it look like the alley is completely clear, so like any things outcropping or whatever are hard okay. to see. Okay. Um, so I summon it. I describe it. The alley unfurls before them, free and easy to run upon, as they make their dastardly escape. Okay. Uh, you redecorate the alleyway. <laughs> I do not spend the uh, the mana to uh, to make sound, so it's just <laughs> visual. <laughs> um, there's no, there's like a bird, but it doesn't. Yes, say that's part of the illusion. Um, the one you just punched. I'm going to try it one more time to stab you, having failed quite poorly the last Everyone time. Everyone should have goals. Uh, 12 will that hit you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, that's better. That is uh, 10 damage. All right. That is a significant improvement uh, yeah. than to the last one. Curse Skywatch to the darkest heavens. I don't know why everyone's now got this accent. You're welcome. Uh... They're all pirates. That was They're a, all pirates. I, I um I feel bad for them, so uh, it is like, oh, good job, yes, you look at you, look what you did, oh, good job. <laughs> Your mother must be proud of you. <laughs> uh, I'm not physically in the room, but I feel like Ada's doing her thing again. <laughs> Corpus. Yes, Corvus. What would you like to do, Corvus? What do they do? Corvus. <laughs> we are going to do what we do best. And by Starish as well, we will murder. So, <laughs> Tarish. No, 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 no. no Starish. Starish is that boy band you really need. Really just one of them alive. So, um, <laughs> Corvus is going to use eight magic points, which is eight over all. half and of what they have. But they have. Uh, and they're going to turn directly, the entire person and all the clothes is going to just slowly switch into spores and sm- move across through the alleyway. And then I, I want to appear on the other side of those who are running. Okay. So like, kind of like stop them. I assume you won't let me slink over and stab. No, because casting a spell is and, definitely yes. a major action. Then I would like to um, prepare. I can't do that. So instead I'm just going to try to sneak into the darkness of the alleyway. 
we're gonna appear in the shadows. Okay, uh, do you roll it? Because if you get enough stat points, you might be able to do fast casting. Ooh. I mean, I can. I always just roll even the yep. ones that don't have an opposed check, just in case. Nope. Okay, uh, so you slink, you dissolve into uh, the spores of the forest as the mist of you uh, takes a moment, crosses the distance, and reappears in front of them in the direction that they're running. One of them mutters. Tested. Uh, <laughs> right. In <laughs> one. In one swift and glorious action, uh, Tustin takes his shotgun and uh, resheathes it on his back, and uh, it's called holstering. We, no, well, it's holster sheath. I mean, it's okay. like a sheath That's for a, He puts it back in its husk. Yes, <laughs> uh, the gun husk reaches reaches for his holster, or if you will, his hip holster, if oh. we have to be mm. that specific I would, I would like that level of specificity in uh, this campaign, please. And his six-shooter uh, almost leaps out into his hand, uh, and he's going to take a shot at the uh, at the woman he's been pursuing. Okay. The tall one. Yes. Uh, uh, 17. That will hit. Uh, and it's going to do, it does a lot less damage than the other one. Uh, let's see, 10 damage. Okay. She's not looking super happy. Yeah. Uh, he's, not, he's not looking for a kill shot with any yeah. of these, but he is looking to uh, immobilize them. Ada. Uh, I punch my foe in the face again. <laughs> <laughs> face punching, face punching. My mother would be really proud of me if she was still alive. Ah, <laughs> uh, fifteen. <laughs> we're just gonna. Uh, we're just gonna make them miserable. Twelve. <laughs> Skywatch just makes people miserable. That's yeah. why everyone hates us. <laughs> We steal things? I mean, we, the, all of us, what? steal things. Yeah, that's <laughs> only no, I, I think, yeah, that's not part of our <laughs> charter at all. crying and like puffy face now. Oh, did Ada make somebody cry? <laughs> yes, she did. Stop doing Yes, she did. She talked about his dead mother. Uh, the mages. Um, the one that you shot at. Uh, they are going to, uh, they, then there's you. This is problematic for them. Um, the other one. <laughs> you look a lot less scarier doing this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is like a Final Fantasy villain. <laughs> You're like the evil clown. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, hmm. What do I want that mage to do? They have used that and that, and they were they, that's the one that they'd readied. Um, uh, yeah, they're just gonna throw it. Um, so they, they throw down, guys, it's a classic smoke grenade. Uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, it is a relatively normal grade, but now it is difficult to see them. A little, um, a little bit of Cromwell in this person, I think. <laughs> That's what they they work on. They're really just like small clay pots that they're smashing on the ground with stuff inside them. They're not so much explosive as they are um, magically powered. I have talent. those. Hmm? Yeah, those. Yeah, they're, it's not like that is not an unusual thing. So they, they throw it to the ground. A large cloud uh, of smoke fills the air. You notice this one doesn't seem to kind of encroach upon you, um, but you are uh, you're going to be at a penalty unless you're like right next to them. Um, so you will probably be okay. Uh, you will have a hard time shooting at them. Mm. Um, they are going to the other one is going to use. He's out of those. He's going to take the moment to reload. Mm. Um, and that puts it at Lorencia. Um, I can see one of them? No, they're both in the cloud. They were right next to each other. Um, all right. Uh, if I cannot see them, then I cast um, Hands of Fate. Oh. <gasps> 
um, which uh, will simply allow uh, me to help my allies by narrating their actions into success, um, nice. depending on whether I choose to spend those points. Um, oh, look, it is stunt worthy. Um, I will then use fast casting. Um, ah, I'm low on magic. Um, I'm getting low on magic instead, too. I will simply make it um, more powerful so okay. that I have more points to spend. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, the crying one. <laughs> Uh, is going to feebly attempt to hit you one more time. I just surrender. Helping his his per- uh, hires get oh. away. Oh. He's going to succeed. Um, and that's another uh, 10 points of damage. Okay. <laughs> Friggin' plate <play> armor. <laughs> um, <laughs> as he's stopping, he's like, I just need to do my job. You all should get a new job. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a lot of skills to be hired. There's apprenticeships. <laughs> have you heard of the non-profit? <laughs> There's a non-profit in town that takes people like you and rehabilitates them into apprenticeships and cobblers and blacksmithies. Corpus. Corpus. Oh, you're saying my... Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm saying your name over and over and over again. You would like to stab? I would like to stab. You may stab. Which one um, would you like to stab? The woman or the... the Corvus knows sharky. how to take down prey in the forest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so she does, I'm the, sure. Uh, so Corvus <laughs> is going to take the dagger and just like try to just stab it into the kneecap of the green dressed lady. Okay. Okay. Um, you are attempting to make a very, very precise attack, so it's going to be a little bit harder to succeed. Just like a hunter would. <laughs> just like a hunter. <laughs> just, just like a Come! <laughs> I'm going to narrate this, and I'm going to tell you how great I rolled. Are you ready for this? It's so I got worthy. two stun points. <laughs> okay. So my goal is to knock pro. Uh-huh. Okay? Mm-hmm. I rolled eight. That is not sufficient. No. How much um, did she miss by? Uh, six. Six. Ooh. I really went. Uh, that's a lot of my points, but I will use all those points. I say, in spite of yes. the uh, uh, the almost miss, Corvus's hand bounced off the pavement, and their second swing collided <laughs> into two, the right? kneecap. So you come in with one, and then that one goes wide, and uh, you come in with the second one, and like they moved their their leg out of the way, but they moved it into your second blade, yes. and so you slide just like into that fleshy bit right under that kneecap. I, I can roll. That. Yes, please roll your damage. Add a uh, one d six. I just this is the fourth run in a, one in a roll. One. Okay, add a, add one d six. So. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Uh, better. Uh, I got eleven. Eleven. Okay. And knocked pro. Ooh. Um, that actually is sufficient. So you uh, you slice into the side of her leg, like just under the kneecap. You feel the tear of ligaments. Yes. Uh, they scream and like drop onto their the the non-stabbed knee and actually end up collapsing um, as the pain is too much for them. I would like this to be not death. They are unconscious. You yes. will need to probably apply some sort of healing to them for them to not. Or die. They oh. have time. No, no, they have time. If their spirit is strong, they'll survive. Yes. Um, <laughs> sometimes people need medical care, uh, and if you leave them to the wolves, the wolves will eat them. And they're not strong enough. Okay. Do they not have medicine in the forest? No. <laughs> there are no doctors. <laughs> there is. There are no healers. For the it's just the circle of life. <laughs> Does it count when someone stabs you? Is that weakness? Yeah. What if a, like, a wolf is strong because he travels with another wolf who is yeah. good at healing? Yeah, that would work. So that is nature's way it's tool, right? Okay, so this person is unconscious yes. on the ground. Um, they will need some medical attention within the next maybe 15 to 30 minutes okay. um, before they may bleed out from, from injuries and wounds. Um, that puts it at Tustin's turn. 
Uh, so how thick is the smoke? What kind of a penalty am I looking at? To uh, fire minus three. It? Pardon? Minus three. Uh, and if I move into the smoke, will that penalty go away? Uh, you need to be melee for the penalty to go away. Melee for the penalty. Okay, so... Uh, then, like... I... Uh, uh, I will. I will attempt to. As, as you move closer, like the it'll start going down. So if you want to like step like halfway in or partway in, it could be minus two and then a minus one. All right. Well, I'll step in close enough to make it a minus one. Okay. The, so I'm not up against. Close. I'm not up against a melee fighter anyway, so I, I'm not, not too worried about that. Uh, and I will enchant one of my bullets with fire. Uh, and launch it at the uh, at the remaining standing mage. Uh, that's not great. Oh, no. uh, that's not bad, actually. Twelve. It's not th- good either. Uh, uh, Thirteen. That will miss. By how much? By one. Oh. Uh, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> we can feel my. But the mage only aim is the not. bullet miss. <laughs> The fire, in fact, had caused slight heat, sing- uh, slight changes in the atmosphere, causing the bullet to curve in the last instant <laughs> and hit. <laughs> and with that, uh, hands of fate runs out. Uh, and it's going Convenient. to do. Uh, it's going to do ten damage. Okay. And I blow on the barrel and say, "You're fired." <laughs> I wish I had some Does it have any other effects, or is it just... No, I, the fire did extra damage, okay, so... Okay, that's what I figured. Um, you know, the funny part is, no one's hit him yet. Really? <laughs> that's, that's literally what? it. Yeah, that's, that's the only damage that uh, you have done to him. Ada! Um, I look at my foe, and I pause, and I aim, and I punch again. Because I like to punch. Um, I love you stopped with the sword. Huh? It's in my hand? Yeah, you're just punching him. Oh, one question. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, 10. 19. That'll hit. Yeah. Okay. Defense is 11. Yeah. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> is, is your gauntlet the lion's body? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So I've got I got some stunt points off of this. Ooh. Uh, so it's thir- let's see, thirteen damage. Okay. And uh, uh, I am actually going to uh, I'm just going to use a mighty blow and and take an extra one d six damage for the. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um, so I got it's eighteen damage. <laughs> That oh is actually God. with his armor. Um, that will be enough. So uh, you like just reel back as you're like, there are internships for you, <laughs> and just clock him solid right on the haymaker. Temple. He yeah. does that like cartoon, like spin around before he lands unconscious on the ground of the bar. Little birds trip. Um, yeah, little I birds. sheath my sword and I say to the patrons. Nothing to see here, just sky watch duty. Back to your pints and your pails. And I... <laughs> we still need you outside. Uh, I, yes, so Ada's going to like grab this one by the shirt and drag him you out. You want to leave the, the other one, the one that's bleeding? Um, I call, I will call a cleanup crew to help with that. I gotta call the coroner. So... Any... The, any, but any, even a civilian can make a heel check. So yeah. probably. Yeah, but you just told them nothing to see here. <laughs> the wound. Oh, is he not dead yet? He's not dead. Okay. No, he's like. Oh, he's not. I'll stab. Yeah, I'll like, he heal. also he needs medical attention. Fine, I'll stay and heal him. Mercy age is friendlier than Shadowrun. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's gonna be plenty of opportunity for these people to heal once we've like incapacitated. Them. Yeah, that's fine. I got mine. <laughs> I'm just thinking like you're dragging one of them out, and leaving the other one the bar. We only need one. <laughs> Sorry. All right. What's Ada's accent? The only need one. The only need one. All right. So there can only be uh, one. The, and it's the, me. The gun mage who you shot no. at, who is displeased. Uh, he has in fact reloaded his gun. Um, so he's uh, he's gonna do this move. Um, he is going to aim it directly at the floor. 
There are sewers under Mina. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna shoot it at the floor. Uh, the hole opens no. up underneath them, and the two of them drop down. No. Oh, even the one that I kind of. <laughs> yeah, the unconscious body will will drop down. No. And the hole will close behind no. them. No way! I can't. <laughs> the last one didn't close that quick. No, it didn't. Uh, it didn't. Mm. You're gonna drop out of combat. Wait, is the sewers wet? Wait, is it yes. Corvus with them? Is it? Is it um, full of Corvus, water? how close were you? I mean, Whoa. I just Literally stabbed them. Yeah, them. you're gonna go with them. Oh, oh no. Um, Corvus can't swim. Uh, it's probably, at this point, there are probably, it's only about three or so, like, so it's it's sewers, right? They're fairly wide open tunnels. Um, there is like a trench of sort of muddy, oh scummy water going through it and like a small uh, area you can stand on the side because they do need to be serviced. So you are not uh, drowning. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. So uh, we're gonna drop out of initiative for a moment, um, yeah. and let's let's resolve Corvus. You went with them. Yeah, that's He's weird. He's going to now turn the gun on you, and say leave. We will find and kill you. Leave your friend here. Sorry, leave your friend. <laughs> Tersa. Tersa has decided your friend is too weak. You if stabbed you, my friend. They should you like Tersa to decide you're too weak? Who's Tersa? The god of fate. Tursa. Oh, well, That's why it's an accent thing. Accent things are really hard. Virtual dialect. I'm just... We know you are the strongest one. But you will be weighed down. This person is heavy. Leave while you can. And I'm going to try and persuade them... Okay. And to not into leaving their friend. This is I would bad. have I would have run by the way and cast uh, puppets of fate immediately, which means enemies within uh, like twenty yards have to re-roll their successful hits up okay. to. We are not in combat right now, so I'm gonna say we're gonna resolve yeah. this before you yeah, can just, do that. Because I would do that to help her, probably. Thirteen. Okay, um, he, he's gonna look at you and pause for a moment, uh, but we actually have a more important thing that happens before any of these things, uh, which is in that moment, uh, after the ground swallowed them up, uh, Tustin feels uh, imbued by, by the spirits, his patron spirit. Uh, you look, if anyone looks up in the moment, they will see the seal in the sky shift for a brief moment uh, to the seal of Thursday to look like uh, Thrayan. Thursday? Briefly. Three. Very briefly. It appears to be almost different as Tustin takes on a slight cast about behind his head uh, as the seal shines so, on him. So, to be clear, mm -hmm. uh, let's let's understand What's up? The, so that they currently are in the sewers underground directly beneath mm -hmm. us. As far as you know. Uh, as far as I know. Uh, okay, so... Uh, I feel this surging power within myself, uh, and as I feel it travel down my arm and into my gun hand, uh, all of a sudden my gun starts to tremble, and I fire a single bullet at the ground, yep. and out of my gun sprouts a manhole cover <laughs> that yes. hits the ground yep. and sticks right into the ground, mm -hmm. and as I lift it up, there is an entrance into the sewer. <laughs> 100%. That is exactly what happens for that brief moment. Uh, as soon as you have done that, the seal returns back to normal in the sky, uh, and the aura has faded around you. Uh, there is now a new manhole cover. Um, it's probably still a stone, man like it's like a stone block. I like to think cover. it's a modern, like New York City manhole cover. <laughs> and I don't you really know have what an explanation cover is. <laughs> for it, but. Um, so you should get one of these guns for the city <gasps> works department. Is it one of those you like hear uh, the clattering of marine style? Like you have to uh, twist it open, and you see like a small amount of moonlight appears through uh, the ceiling as he's like pointing the gun at you. Um, you, you, you have a little bit of time to run. Looks down at his companion. Make the smart move. She uses his gun and books it down the sewers. Leaving the friend? Yes. Uh, so you hear the sound of footsteps uh, fading off into the darkness as you pull open the manhole cover and see Corvus standing over the body of which she just, uh, they just stabbed. 
prior. Corvus, you are right down there. <laughs> yes. What? You li- are you lifting something up? I can't tell. Oh, the the real, moonlight real is too pale. I got one. You you I got one. Oh, um, this is a wonderful uh, smell you have discovered yes. in this magical realm you have uncovered. But nice job, kid. Well, one one for two ain't half bad. I I'm not in the room, don't look at me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm I'm just speaking to my invisible friend o- over here. Uh, so we'll I, I guess we'll lower some rope down. Yeah, that uh, would be nice. so The medical cover didn't come with a ladder. No, uh, unfortunately. Too so bad. What I will, Corvus will tie a rope around the body. And so you can pull that up first. All right. You pull the body out, but like it's it's definitely nice, infected. Nice it's them. definitely <laughs> infected at this point because sewers are not good for giant gaping holes no. made by wooden no. snakes. Not at all. Like you try and pull her out and like smack her a little bit on the ceiling. <laughs> this is very unceremoniously drag this limp body out of the sewers by a rope through a newly formed manhole cover. Uh, great. So once uh, once she's out of the sewer and Corvus, I you, follow very quickly after. You have a way to get out of the sewer. I assume you would lower the rope back so I can climb it. Sure, that would be great. Well, well we <laughs> we don't know what your tr- what you tree folk normally are. Uh, you're right. Up to you, you're, you're so right. We just whenever we feel we okay, I can actually fly, uh, but like most of us can't. Apparently they they have sarcasm in the forest. That's good to know. So you are now uh, outside of the Pale and Pitcher. Thank you. You have an unconscious uh, Magitek uh, smuggler and uh, two unconscious Magitek or goons who are assisting them. Uh, what would you like to do with them? Uh, so I think first thing we do is we tie them to chairs. Uh, that we borrow from the. Should we not take them to the yeah, and Wait. book them? Well, I, but I think we want to tie them up before we do that. Oh yes. Yeah. I'm not. Maybe you could also. I tie would them like to chairs and... not drag them across the city in chairs. Fine. Like, can we not call the paddy wagon? Yeah, that's a thing that exists. You yeah, let's call it okay, paddy wagon. Okay, fine. We'll I'm about to send way. a pigeon, and I realize that's not what we're doing. It's it's just a wagon driven by a, a man who has Ada's accent. <laughs> Uh, and it, it's a, they, they've recently upgraded at Skywatch to the, the horseless carriages. Oh. Um, so a, a Magitek wide wagon will pull up with a cart space in the back to uh, dump some the, uh, unruly individuals. There's a nine in ten chance it will not explode on your way to mm-hmm. Skywatch headquarters. Can we? My name's Paddy. It's my wagon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm t- <laughs> Ada's cousin. <laughs> sure. The name's yeah, man. That's awesome. my hole. Uh, <laughs> Corvus. <laughs> it's just what gonna. It? What do they do? Like rip off the part of the green cloak and just wrap it around the leg. Okay, give me a heel check. Yeah. Okay. Healing. It's intelligence, I believe. Yeah. Oh goody! I got ten. You rip off part of the cloak and wrap it around. I believe their it doesn't thigh. count unless it's eleven. As I think so. Um, I right. need eleven. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that's the that's <laughs> I can do. Or well, this is like I don't know. And then you come over and be like, I'm like, here's how it is done. <laughs> and I do succeed in healing for, uh, I believe, one point. <laughs> is it just a stun die? Oh, plus intelligence. Uh, four points of healing. <laughs> They are still unconscious, so. but they appear to be slightly less bleeding. That's nice. Oh. Well, <laughs> I guess there's only one way to make sure this uh, has a happy ending, and I. <laughs> no, I don't don't do it. No. <laughs> you dealt a lot of damage to them. Yeah, but they've also healed enough. <laughs> we healed four. Uh, we healed four, Tustin. Go for it. Do it, Tustin. Uh, I'm not gonna, no. Don't look at me. I'm not going to tell Do you it. no. All right. Who's in charge? <laughs> you, I, you made I the I cock the hammer on my gun, uh, and I shoot them in the leg. <laughs> it does 1d6 damage, which is three. <gasps> okay, that is... 
conveniently. You shoot but then, right where they bandaged. The rules of the, the, there are certain things you can do with healing. But but then, you have to break, re-break the bone to heal it sometimes. Once the bullet is lodged in them, it begins to spread a healing magic through them, and they heal for an additional uh, 12. So, total of nine. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, 10, because one point from them and nine from you. I That's thought you were just trying to exploit the rules that say you can't make another heal check until damage is taken. <laughs> No, it's magic, that. so it, does, it applies differently. Wow. You're a strange. <laughs> I um, then, like, shoot myself <laughs> in the shoulder. And Ada's heal. like, uh, uh, but Ada heals, uh, uh, Tustin. Who else? Did somebody else take damage? Uh, I did. I'll heal the two, two of you. Okay. So some healing goes around. Uh, the Patty, Patty and his wagon shows up. Uh, they load they load them in the back. Uh, they take them back to Skywatch Tower. Um, just you know, a tall, uh, sort of pale sandstone, large block building. Uh, it's several stories, and then it's got a larger kind of cloister area around it. Um, it has those domed, sort of peaked roofs that you might see in a place like Istanbul. Lots of uh, tile and mosaic around it, depicting great scenes from the past uh, of mighty deeds of former Skywatch. Uh, watchers. <laughs> I think that's what you are. You're watchers. Uh, Who watches the watchers? No one. Oh, okay. You watch each other. Mm. The sky watches you. Mm. As you watch the sky. Mm. Is there uh, anything in Skywatch Tower that can replenish our magic? Time? Well, that's everywhere. Yep. All right. Well, it's cool. We're not going to fight someone. You might be able to, like, go down to the lab and, and convince them for some sort of experimental juice Ooh. or some something like that. My but favorite no, kind of juice. Um, generally, things to speed up magic recovery would be uh, probably, like, paying homage to your patron spirit of some yeah. kind and mostly rest. Do they have mages elixirs? Yeah. Like something like that. So those will do, uh, I was just looking it up real quick. Um, 1d6 plus willpower magic points. Oh no. <laughs> so, so yes, there are some options available to you. Uh, right. So you head back to Skywatch. They take the, the three Think individuals and do some, like they have a, a basic first aid unit. You know, they're not a hospital, but they can do some, some field medicing. Um, and uh, I assume you ask someone to come get you when they are awake. One of them is awake. Uh, they will obviously keep them restrained as well, uh, divulge them of any uh, magical technology that they might have on them. So a little bit of time will pass. Um, How much time passes? I was wondering if you would ask that question. Uh, you, by the time you get back, so we'll say it was like 9.30. It's, it's probably th- about an hour, maybe an hour and a half even to, to patch them up oh, until gosh. they're conscious. Okay. So the like the goons would probably wake up first, so they would be around at about 10.30, um, and it's probably going to be closer to 11 um, before 11.30 for the other, the mage, mage tech user. So uh, like Wednesdays, they're the worst. Um, so, and so midnight is when the seal changes, mm-hmm. right? Currently, the uh, Turosa seal is very low in the sky. I don't know if we're going to get answers before midnight. Well, well, I will need some rest before we, uh, before I'm able to do a lot more work. Well, it's, I mean, it's nearly Wednesday. Well, uh, if you, if you need to retire, Ada, you go ahead and do so. It's time uh, for me to go to my shed. All right, well... We're gonna have to interrogate these people. If we need you, we'll we'll give you a ring. If you need me, when you find out something, come to my shed and knock on the door. You have never given us permission before I know. to knock on the door of your shed. You have said, in fact, in the past, that if we so much as get within 50 yards of your shed, that you would launch arrows at us. I know what to so say. Should we bring chains or something to restrain whatever is this? I first? didn't say I was opening the door. I'm saying that you can yell through it. Well, I just want to say I appreciate 
this progress in our relationship. Fine. <laughs> so, uh, what? What so, is this? Oh. I have to go home. I'll see you later. Right, she does this every uh, wedding day or Wednesday, what? as they call it here. Why is is this the the curse witch house? Yes, she was talking- the witch. She turns into some sort of monster or beast. Nobody is quite Hideous, certain, but ferocious. It sounds That's very dangerous, and she is she is unhappy oh. about it. So it- she locks herself away for a day. You you heard of werewolves? Uh, they've. They've come up. Well, it's not that. We I asked her already. She <laughs> said no. Uh, but that was my best guess. So and she's not a werewolf. A winged wolf. A winged. A wedigenest wolf. A wedigen wolf. We what? once heard. My people are known for their um, seclusion, but every once in a while, a tale will come through about uh, witches and curses, and we usually let the witches do themselves because they. They know best. They speak to the spirits directly. But there was tales that if you stab the person in the heart and remove the heart during their wedding de- 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 guest day. We did you nest day? Yes. What again nest day? What again nest day? What again nest day? Are you, are you, you saying they want to stab Ada in the heart? No, on Wednesday, whatever beast she makes, she becomes. Might be the only way to cure it. Well, we will keep this in mind if we ever beat it and must defeat it. Yes. Uh, so a little bit of time will pass. They'll come uh, come to you uh, probably around um, 10, 10-ish uh, with PM information. Yeah, PM. Okay. About the the three, the two um, lower lagoons and kind of let you know, like, you can talk to them, but they didn't seem to have any information. They were fairly adamant that they were just working uh, with these people, providing some security and kind of physical support. Um, not in that sense. Uh, and if you... <laughs> what sense? I don't know. Just in case your brains went somewhere. <laughs> They're not important. For a moment. Um, they, are, they are of lesser importance, so they figured you may want to wait until the, the other mage wakes, mage tech user wakes up, uh, which will happen at around probably 11, 11.30 after they've had some rest. Um, and they will be alone uh, in kind of a hospital ward sort of room. Um, you will be led in there. Uh, they'll stick with one of the like Skywatch medics will stay in there just in case. Loria, uh, you want to do some classic good watch, bad watch? Uh, all right. Uh, I think I should be the good one though. Very well. All right. <clears throat> what? Um, well. You were smuggling Magitech, and you were arrested, and we have brought you here to the Skywatch Tower to uh, talk to you. Pretty big crime. Pretty big crime. Technically, I was illegally using Magitech, but at what point did you see me sell it to someone? Uh, so or transport you had... it somewhere. Uh, interesting. So you know how smuggling works. So you are aware that smugglers I know transport what... and sell Magitech. Good I know, know that smugglers is a profession for people who move goods illegally. Um, Whatever yes. those goods happen to be. And you're accusing me of that. Well, you have been accused of it. I am not here to make a judgment. I'm here to get your side of this story. How you came to be possessing magical weapons, uh, meeting with these people in a place that uh, all sorts of smugglers about the town have uh, said that you smuggle magic weapons. This looks very bad. I mean, the city guard would probably love to simply, you know, throw you away or chop your head off or whatever the city guard does. Uh... Here at Skywatch, we try to be nicer. Magitech is very new. People make mistakes. Where uh, are you from? Me? I'm from Amortania. <laughs> you have been there? Like, no, it just explains. I shove uh, Lorenzo aside. I slam my fists down at the, the table. I get in his face and say, now you listen here, you no good little dirty street filth. We're Skywatch and we've dealt with people 
a million times worse than you. Why I shit worse vermin than you out my butt every morning <laughs> after breakfast. Keep going. <laughs> um, would you oh. like to give me an intimidation? <laughs> That's strength, right? Uh, it's communication. Yeah, are you trying to use that? I would probably say it's a communication oh, okay. role because you're not like physically. Um, you can oh. do it as a, a persuasion or a uh, Oh, well, yeah, my roll was good. Uh, and I stunted uh, 12, 16. Uh, and. Flirt, 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 flirt. <laughs> Always! Always the option. Uh, <laughs> Don't do it. Da, 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 da. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, flirt's so temp tempting. Uh, <laughs> flirt with. <laughs> I shit bigger things than you. <laughs> oh my butt. <laughs> I have heard no greater flirting lines in my life. How is the interrogation going? Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm going to do Tower of Will. So uh, I get a sense of my own brilliance and, and strength of character, <laughs> yeah. which I was lacking, uh, which will give me a plus one bonus to oppose tests. Uh, um, you, you appear to uh, at least stun them into some level of silence. They are not, they do not want to back talk you in this moment. Now you're gonna listen to my good friend Lori over here, cause he's gonna give you an opportunity to walk away from this that you won't get from myself or the rest of Skywatch. Need I remind you where I shit out of? No. No, you don't. Well, that was, uh... Unnecessary and something I would have liked to have avoided. Um, if you would just give us information, clearly you are a tiny fish, uh, or at least an independent fish, and Skywatch is more interested in uh, who is making this sort of thing happen. Um, give me a persuasion. Um, uh, ten. Oh, but I get to re-roll. Persuasion. <laughs> 13. What's the guarantee I get? Right now, the only crime I've committed is using illegal goods. Well, uh, how about this? Uh, if as uh, the only further crime you have, are accused of committing is smuggling, uh, for instance, you have not murdered anyone or committed any greater crimes, then uh, perhaps I would pursue simply keeping the crimes to the use of uh, an illegal weapon. You're right. Much smaller fish in a slightly bigger plan pool. We were hired, me and my companion. They gave us the weapons that you saw to use in order to acquire specific goods. The antique shop, the bank. Gold, silver, iron. Right. So uh, far. Were you told what sort of magitech or rituals this would be used for? No. Did you, have you delivered? Yes. Uh, can you tell us where you delivered to? Um, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble if they find out I'm the reason you got there. Uh, I Probably will, more trouble than Skywatch would get me in. I will cast Suggestion. Okay. And I will say... Um, uh, and that will be willpower, self-discipline versus 16. I will say, I don't know. They take this very seriously, and Tustin uh, will literally uh, devour you whole if I let him. Uh, he's very violent, and he's very upset over this. Keep in mind, he said literally and not figuratively, which when talking about devouring someone whole, 
is quite an imposition. <laughs> right. Well, not the whole, but parts. Really? Whole? You said whole. No backsies. All right. Well, I did not mean to commit you to that much. But... Nope. I'm ready, and I pull out a fork and knife I just happen to have on me. Why? Right. Why do you have a fork and knife on you? I'm cowboys cowboy always cowboy ready to do, yeah. Yeah. So we just You got, got a can of beans in there, too? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they make beans. that They make that grating sound again. Ching, 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 ching. The worst. And I lick it. my lips. <laughs> And another thing, if Skywatch, of course, if you were to help us, Fine. Skywatch would probably want to protect you so we could uh, uh, receive any more information you might have. Our delivery site was in the Overhill District. That is not very specific. I mean... So you know where the uh, Overhill is basically, it is named as such because it is on the other side of the hill. The hill kind of like ends oh. at the top of it is sort of like the richest area. And then as it goes down the other side, it just kind of turns into right. much more of a slums. Right next um, to Top Hill? Yeah. And... Uh, no, Hilltop. Okay. Um, hilltop View. <laughs> right. Or View Top. Uh, and then... And Valley Town? Yeah. Uh, no, no uh, Valley District. <laughs> uh, so the that's kind of you know, closest to what would be considered slums in the city of Mina or like the lowest um, fairly dilapidated nothing's going to be in particularly good condition it's it's an old mill um, by the river it runs through uh, yes the old mill or an old mill I think it has to be like a flower house or something like that ah uh. Do we have an idea of the like, general mill? Yeah. I mean, there is a small like river that would run through that area, and a mill would probably be. They make cereal there, um, and uh, have I, to be on it for the water wheel, right? And the and the person you uh, uh, made contact with, uh, who was this? There's been a few different ones. Uh, well, I would be happy to hear about all of them. I mean, we never really got names. Uh, descriptions, how they were dressed, how wealthy they seemed. They were all three different people we talked to. They seemed to be maybe the size of all of the people who were involved. Um, and then my companion, who was probably about to go warn them, so you'll likely need to move quickly as soon as they know their site's been potentially compromised. They're going to pack up and ship out. Uh, I think there were three of them. They had a handful of people, like the, the two gentle, young gentlemen who were assisting us, mostly just to help carry goods and move material and occasionally punch people in the face in case someone showed up. Corvus, maybe give uh, Yara a call and tell her to tell Ada that uh, we may have to make a move tonight. Yara's the one that she's married. Yes, <laughs> the lab, the people in the lab, anyone can tell you how to get a message to her. It does. Uh, Corvus will do as asked. Um, any other information you wish to impart? Uh, one of them at least was a mage, or, uh, and the other two were at least proficient with different types of magic tech, it seemed like. Um, I don't think they're based out of here, they're taking the goods out of town materials. They're probably working for someone else. I mean, it's a small operation, whoever it is that's funding it. It's They just need the goods, and this seems to be the best way of getting it. They've been trying to buy it. All right. Well, um, uh, Corvus, I think I shall leave, and you can ask any last questions you would like to ask. Please do not eat this person. You mean Tustin? Uh, Tustin, I'm yeah. sorry, yes. Um, I step out in the hallway, I cast Minor Illusion, um, and I create an arm. Like a, a, a severed <laughs> arm. <laughs> like like one that I can pull out from behind my coat and just snack on? Or? Uh, I think I'm going to have to bring it in to control the illusion, because it's a very small area. <laughs> yeah. Um, I enjoy that this is actually a bit you guys do anytime you yeah. are interrogating someone. So I create the arm. We've done this before. And as he's talking, I bring it back in. I say, really, oh, really, yeah. Tustin, 
<laughs> Look, he didn't tell me what I needed to know. Yeah, but we are going to get in trouble for this. Well, you know, if I if someone would find me some salt, then I could finish the job. You're impossible sometimes. Try not to eat this one. <sighs> and I walk back out. Listen. You're doing good. You're you're almost clear. Skywatch is going to take care of you. You're going to be fine. I, are you actually a murderer? <laughs> I I work for Skywatch. I do what needs to be done. Just just hey, hey. Just okay. don't focus on the cutlery. Don't focus on the cutlery. What do you want? The uh, You said you said it was the old mill. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. So you're at hilltop, and then over a hill. You you're Can we heading down. On map? On, yeah, that'd be that. Actually, would be nice. Do you have a pen, piece of paper? I, I carry all sorts of things in here, <laughs> and I <laughs> I hand scroll, them. The, scroll a map for you of, of hilltop. It's like you know. Here's the the main the shrine to. You're sh which shrine you okay no so you head you go you go first to the, the shrine of the rain and then you head okay. down south and then you go to the river and you cut across and you cross this this bridge is the best one and then right here it's this this mill great now i like my meat lean so stay away from fatty foods until we meet again and i leave <laughs> okay <laughs> we won't we will have Skywatch keep this person, like, in jail here until we finish this investigation. Okay. They will do that. I see. Without really asking any questions. Wait. I need a pigeon. What's that? I need a pigeon. I go to the Q at the lab. What is the person's lab name? Oh, shoot. I wrote their name this down. This is Skywatch. They can just send a magical uh, message. There's LMA. You. And Gertrude. I met Ada. Ada likes pigeons. Yes, but we are in a hurry. We don't have time for what Ada needs. We have to make a move maybe, before these Maybe people. we should just go maybe. get her. I honestly don't think we can we can risk uh, we can risk going without her and we don't have time to be cautious. Alright, but you better bring your big gun. She seemed very uh, concerned about I always bring my big gun. All right. Strapped to my back. This one. Literally. Uh, not figuratively. Careful, you might eat her on the way. Um, do they have a couple of elixirs yeah. I can use? All right. So, uh, we've we've already like had some downtime, right? Yes. So how, how much do we heal? I don't remember the... Uh, uh, in terms 1d6 of plus willpower. Magic Is that per hour? hour or? Sure, get to you. <laughs> Yeah. I'll have to look it up in a minute. I don't think it's per hour. You had three from my heal before. That's, I'm talking about magic. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about magic. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's go. Uh, so we book it over to Ada's place. Uh, do you knock on the door to to talk to Yara? Uh, yeah, I think, I think we do. Do we're, you we're... knock on the door to talk to Yara? <laughs> I well, I think we stand out there out front for a moment, just kind of like shed, with this awkward, the house, yeah, right? just Does kind of this awkward it? silence, uh, you want. just looking at each other. Oh, and uh, I'm like, Lori, do you uh, oh you want to do this one or? Uh, I think we should just uh, talk to Yara first. I know, but I, I mean, one of us to has to knock on the door. I am. Set, oh I, my goodness! I go Somebody knock, on, knock the on the door. You are incredibly loud. <laughs> Uh, you're right, it is me! Oh god. <laughs> Laurencio Valerie de la Croix. Yes. Hey. You met? Yes. Tustin. Um, oh, hello, hey. Tustin. Oh, hey. I do not you. know if you have met our newest member, Corvus right. Gallows, but they have uh, just completed a fantastic, done a fantastic job on their uh, first mission, their first big mission. A pleasure to meet you. I go by name. Yara Blood. <sighs> Um, we have come because uh, there is a smuggling case. Uh, we have been told to resolve quickly, um, yes. but we have to make a move tonight. And I know it is uh, it is Ada's uh, special day. It's uh, in about thirty minutes. 
Thanks. Oh, oh, right. oh so she's not it's actually. Just kidding. No, she's she's in the she's she's in the shed. She's doing her preparations. You know. Well, uh, oh. sh- she just instructed us to knock on the shed. So uh, she did say something of the sort before yeah. she went in there. Yeah. Well, um, you know, be careful. Be be alert and aware. And um, be kind, you know, it's a, it's a challenging curse. You will make do. Great. Well, she's not succumbed to it just yet. You know, she may... Yes, it's it's an uncomfortable period of time, the adjustment pro- process. Um, she doesn't even like me being in there. Well, uh... All right, well, we? let's go. I knocked on this door, so uh, one of you will do it. Knock on the other door. Yeah, yeah, Corvus, uh, you just do that. I'm gonna stand back here a few paces. I have my shotgun ready. I have, uh, uh, yes, a couple of spells ready. Bob, Bob, Bob. Hello? We need to go to the general mill. You're the strongest of us. Right now? They're gonna run if we don't go right now. We we. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't care if you're new. You don't get to sass me, especially during my time. L- Listen, Ada. We don't have a lot of time. We uh. <laughs> I got to like 13 minutes before I change. Yeah, well, we may have less than that before they get wise to our presence and oh. move out, move on out of town. You want me to come with you? We can't do it without you, Captain. I mean, maybe whatever you turn into, we can turn it against them. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea. Is it like a kraken? Dear, would you like me to prepare the, the cloak for you? <sighs> yes. Fine. Fine. Legitimately with The door opens and Ada's like standing there and she's obviously just like very irritated. Well, you haven't changed yet. Obviously. No, I haven't, All but right. I tell you one thing. If I go with you, I don't want anybody staring at me and I don't want anything said. Absolutely understood. We're all very understanding and compassionate. I won't be able to do what I normally do. What? Yara, uh, take the, cape, the cape. She hands you, uh, it's slightly smaller, right? You, it's like a little you... bit shorter. Yeah. Um, but it's got a, a bigger hood. Yeah. And she like hands you like the large scarf that you can kind of wear. Yeah, it's a fuller like, cut. Yeah. yeah. I mean, should should we be aware of like any tentacle action or uh, <laughs> anything like? <laughs> no, nothing like that. All right, well, <sighs> over you. to... <laughs> Over to General Ooh, Mill. You, I the don't think we'll be able to do this. Yes. Uh, I have this map here. Very helpful. You are good in your own way. Wait, what are you saying? Fate goes with you. Thank you. Yes. You brought it with us. Yes. And sometimes I change it. Yes, but I don't think you have the gusto to carry us. Uh, carry you? Why would I carry you? Are you talking about leadership? Yes. I'm not the leader. I know. What that's would I do? I am here to document either. and chronicle and one day tell the stories of this amazing quartet. Like, I'm part of the quartet. Yes. It was Sam and then Sam died and now you are part of the quartet. Sometimes these things happen. You know, there's always a new person. They die and a new person replaces them. I will not die. It is good for, like, it makes it easier to cast. You can break it up into multiple volumes. You can have betrayal, right? Like, maybe you betray us. I don't, you know, I don't normally go out on Wednesdays. And I wouldn't be going out this time either, except there's something strange about this. It reminds me of, I can't quite put my finger on it, but it reminds me of something that happened years ago. Really? Yes. Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm afraid that there's more to it than meets the eye. Well, well there's also the fact that the, uh, the sky, did you see during that last moment, like twice today, the sky has been very strange. I noticed it too. The seal seemed to change. The seals never change. Spirits 
They come and they go, but the seals, the seals are constant. Those are definitely what kind of strange for just a moment, just an instant. Yeah. I thought maybe it was just me. It wasn't me. Y'all are probably, was a moment. Y'all probably just seeing things in the sky. I don't think so. I mean, even illusion cannot touch the seals, right? I try to change the seal in the sky, what you even see, and it, the, the magic just fails. I tried to shoot one of the seals once. Bullet, uh... Pinged a cow off in a <laughs> off in the neighbor's farm. By ping, do you mean killed or just like? Ping. Well, I didn't stick around to find out. Hmm. Well, try not to kill any cows. All I'm saying is, is they're further away than you might think based on the size of them. So just as you are uh, walking your way over to Overhill, um, you you crest over a uh, hilltop. And as you do, you can look and see out to the rise, and you're facing northward at this point. And the seals uh, rise and set south to north. Why didn't we go around the uh, hill? Rather than east to west. Uh, actually, no, they probably go north-south. So if you look southward, you can see uh, the setting seal um, in the north. You can see just cresting above the horizon is the seal of Wedigan Neste, as uh, the seal of Turosa slips below the horizon just as you crest the hilltop. And as that seal comes up, you kind of feel the air crack. And there's like a burnt smell and taste. Like you kind of, it's like there's an acidic taste in your mouth and there's, it's like the ozone in the area has like, just like that there's, it's almost like some, there's been an explosion or something set off, but there's no sound to it. I have my shotgun ready. And you just like Ada, her walking figure slows and then like stops and you see her like melt a little bit. And as she melts, like she just seems to dissipate a little bit and then stops. And so she's about half the size she was before. And now she, the cloak has completely covered her. So she's like three feet tall? Uh, she's about five feet tall at this point. Pro- just proportionally. Ada? Proportionally. Like uh, almost broad. Ada, you, uh, you okay? Yeah, uh-huh. I'm fine. It's happened. Let's just keep going. Definitely not talking about the fact that you are some kind of gnome gargoyle creature or something, perhaps? No? You know. I thought you'd be like some giant minotaur or something, but uh, I mean, this this doesn't seem half bad. You're whatever Fine. it is, you're contained. All right, but if I show you, you you can't laugh. What? Uh, and Ada turns and like pulls back her cloak, and you're staring into the eyes of like a very like early 20s girl who is like very, very like thin and uh, a lot of eyeliner (laughs) and like flowing (laughs) like dark hair and very like very ample. uh, (laughs) blend. Yes, exactly. Uh, Whoa, uh, well, uh, 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 hey. Just shut up! Shut up, all of you! But her voice sounds the same. <laughs> it's probably a it's little, a little bit higher. It's a higher pitch. It's like a but, higher pitch for the but, same accent. Yeah, same accent. Shut up! Shut up, all of shut you! Shut up! Shut up, all of you! I don't see the problem. Is I mean, this back pain, maybe, but as I said, this is the where. Did where you bring your story with you? Um, she's got it, but it's like dragging on the ground as she walks. Because her, her plate armor, nothing fits. Um, what happens to the, most of your plate armor? It is just like a few small pieces that don't really cover much. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty obviously she strategically removed a couple pieces. Um, and you know, you do notice, you kind of glimpse her arm under the cloak just has uh, rows of black writing. But it's not in yeah. a language. Tustin that didn't notice in. that. <laughs> uh. My words are down here. <laughs> <laughs> so now you understand. I'm cursed. Well, well, that I—I I, I mean, that's one way to look at I it. Suppose. 
Um, and I, so, and and the other piece of this too is so Ada looks. This is not like it's not like she's been de-aged. She is a completely different person. Like she has a different skin tone, different eyes. Like it's obvious. Like it's not like any sort of like reverting Ada to some uh, who she was before when she was younger. It's like just obviously a separate person. So you should have stayed in the shit. What? <laughs> Corvus, you hold your tongue. She, they didn't mean this that. This is not. It's, it's quite, quite all right. A, uh, you were an oak, and now you are a set of vines. Do you need a hand with that sword? Can I, uh... I'm fine. You don't need to do anything. Let's just go to the place that we're supposed to go and apprehend who we're supposed to apprehend. Of course, sure, you yeah. can't. The Skywatch does not say, like, oh, you are the wrong person. You cannot fight for us, right? Just... We allow anybody to fight for us. How is they know their age or their gender or their gender identity? It would be foolish to not accept anybody who can fight and do good. I mean, what kind of kingdom would not accept uh, someone who could fight into their uh, their Skywatch? You seem awfully cold under that. Oh, for yeah. Jesus Christ! Stop it! No, she wouldn't say that. It's Jesus. It would. Uh... Oh. Uh, what, what the the equivalent of like uh, was What's there a prophet? Spirit? Um, my what is so uh, my uh, free Ferian would be my primary free Aaron. Yeah, free Aaron. Yeah. Oh, free Aaron! Free Aaron. Oh, that's got a nice yeah. ring to it. Free Aaron, get your b- bloody hands off me! <laughs> Well, I, I just want you to be this, comfortable. This is why this. I don't come out of the shed. No, well, this is why I stay in the shed. This is quite fun. <laughs> I just, you know, I can break a man's neck with my hands. Oh yeah, you sh- sure can. Yeah. You pay for this uh, tomorrow. <laughs> well, actually, it's more of a—it's not breaking so much as uh, you're just constricting the muscles. <laughs> yeah, you see. You can't actually break a neck. What you what you're doing really is you're constricting their airway in such a way. I do not that, need to have neck breaking. Explain to me. Thank you very much. No, of course you don't. Uh, all right. You're just trying to help is all. Oh, I'm sure you are. I've had plenty of your help. In fact, I've had plenty of everybody's help. I just want to go and do my job and do it well, and I don't want to be bothered by anybody who might feel differently looking into a younger woman's eyes. No, no, of course not. (laughs) I am the same person I was before. There's no reason for you to lose any IQ points or perhaps push forward an ulterior motive. You're, you're absolutely right. You know, you're, I just want to say you've been, you're such, so smart, Ada. You're such a great Contributor so you begin, uh, walking down into <laughs> Overhill, uh, and you see like the small, small sort of river that runs past the hill and then down through the district. It, as, the, as the water goes, you saw it like kind of coming over the hill. It's like nice and clear. Uh, actually, probably downstream, it gets less and less clear. Like the further in, it gets slightly clearer because the water just gets murkier and murkier as it winds its way through yeah. the city. Uh, it's not a nice river. It's more like the River Thames, especially now. Uh, although the sewage system does help a lot. That sewage system keeps the river much less disgusting. Why do all these drunks keep whistling at us? <sighs> you uh, see, the, the river gets dirtier at this part because when it's further downstream, more of the detritus uh, tends to find its way there. I swear upon the life of my father and my mother, God rest <laughs> their souls, that oh. someday I will be free of this curse where the men around me turn completely, and sometimes the women too, com- completely mad and crazy. So adorable the way you talk just like Ada. <laughs> so you are approaching uh, the portion of the river where they said the uh, flower house was. And You mean General uh, Mills? General Mills flower house. <laughs> flower house, the General Mill. Yes. Yes. All right, then. Uh, it's not my fault some people were talking over me when I said the name of the location because the joke was super funny. <laughs> I can't help that they make cereal. <laughs> um, Do we have a plan? 
Yeah. Yes, confront evil. <laughs> Subdue it. Imprison it. Try not to kill it. What's our plan? So, we know that there... Actually, I assume that I have been given an update on the walk. Yes. As to what happened in the interrogation. Probably sometime before midnight. <laughs> I think so. Uh, so, I think the plan is we've got to find out who's in charge. Now, they're probably mixing things up. I assume that they're using this place for an assembly. Hmm... They mentioned that they're taking this assembly. Do you mean where they're assembling the items? Mm. No, they said that they were going to take the items out of the city. Right, so this but is they're a probably place. bringing them here to, you know, package them up, or perhaps they have magical means of transport. They're also probably expecting us, given that we let one get away. It's a mill, like... Mm-hmm. Uh, is there like sort of a second floor entrance or? Uh, there is the... a second story on it. Uh, here, the buildings tend to be a little bit shorter, so there there is the the main entrance. There, uh, you you can see from where you are, um, or kind of yeah, give us a the water wheel, the the water wheel, and it's slowly turning in the river. It probably used to be a lot more productive, but the river has has slowed down over time, um, as it is widened and become more disgusting as the city has developed. Um, so a lot of places like this, uh, Magitek is kind of eking them out as they're discovering more efficient ways of producing goods. Uh, so the it's a small sort of stone uh, stonework building, kind of that same larger sandstone blocks that most of the things are made out of, but the roof here uh, is probably like a kind of cracked tiles. It looks fairly old and worn. Um, the building is like clearly parts of it are uh, less a little bit worse for wear you do see uh what appears to be on one side probably some sort of barn or stable kind of area where they might keep uh, animals uh there's a little bit of space around it but everything's relatively dense and has been building in in this area so um there's like kind of a road in front of it and then like the river on one side and then smaller uh sort of alleyways that some of the buildings are pretty packed in close together it's got a second story on it um there isn't like a balcony or anything like that it's just windows um everything looks shuttered closed at this point there is no like open uh, like wooden windows. shut yeah closed. okay is the the millstone still going then? You don't know. The millstone's inside. Oh. It's the, but you can still see the water wheel turning, so the millstone, if it's connected, would potentially still be Do turning. Do we think there's just one entrance? Um, you would guess that the the stable has an entrance, and then there's probably a front entrance as well. Okay. Um, the stable isn't, like, physically connected to the... Uh, it is. It's on the side of the building. So okay. you would keep it, like, on the side. Um, it's connected to the building. It's a relatively small location. There's not a lot of space in the city, any uh, in parts of the city, especially in the poor areas, to like have a separate stable for your horses. Like mm-hmm. the only reason they would have these here is because they probably at some point would use animals if the river wasn't fast enough to turn the wheel. If I can get up on the roof, I could lower myself on the rope to one of the windows, and that would give me a good uh, position to take a shot from if I can get the shutters open quietly enough. We could go around to the front too, and maybe if you shoot in from the window, then they'll run out the front door. That's another possibility is just to try to scare them out so that you you guys take them out from there. I, I take out my six shooter and I hand it to her. I see. Luke Carroll first. I think if you are a organized enough to steal this much, uh, 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 magical equipment? Uh, you might not run from just four of us. You might be prepared to stand and defend yourself. Can could we... you, uh, could you maybe give them the impression that there are more of us, which I could then support with the gunfire coming from the window? I certainly can. I cannot move my spells, but uh, if I expend some of my energy, I can create a uh, 20 by 20 yard, uh, like, illusions that I can control. Um, I simply cannot move from that 20 by 20 um, area. We just need to, we we don't need to, I think, show them everything. We just need to make them believe it yes. when we tell them that there's a whole lot more of us than there are. Uh, probably best to create them, uh, perhaps an uh, attack as a main entrance or in the stable. 
or where, people on the roof. Yeah, where are you guys right now, like in relation to the building? I assume we're not going to be able to go across the river. We don't have a boat. We have to come from the riverside, right? Because the river is probably 10, 20 feet across. Yeah, here. I assume we're yeah. far back yeah. enough to have not left, like, like we're not in, like, open direct sight, right? Yeah, like, yeah no, we're, I, I assume... we've, we've, we're just watching from a vantage off. Okay. Uh, off in the distance. I mean, I could also create a fire. Uh, also, at least one may know that I uh, has the ability to create illusions, so um, it might not fool them for long. Well, the other option is we just try to take them head on. There's only four of them. We know that because it was one escaped and they had three others. So we know there's at least four. If there's any more, we might lose the numbers game. I think having you shoot from the window can't be a bad thing. I can create the four, an illusion of the four of us approaching from a different entrance. But there's only one entrance I to think the place. The stable, uh, the stable and the front door. Hmm. So we can make them... Corvus, we, are you pretty snaky? Here's Maybe what you should go take a look-see in the stable and just see if anybody's in there. Here's what I think. I think, because uh, Corvus, you're right, we may we may not have numbers on them, but we also know that there's a mage who's probably the one running it. And if we can focus our attention on the mage, get them uh, out of the picture, then maybe we'll be in a better spot to negotiate with the rest. I can, I do have bonuses in scouting. So I can go I would, forward and, and I would say out. let's let's find out where these people are first before we because if they're split up between the two buildings we're gonna have a terrible surprise. Right. As the gods are ought to do. I want I want you to take this gun. I know it's not your normal weapon, but I figure it'll be useful. Here, just hold it. Dustin. I no. It's, it's no. Okay. No. Just, no. Okay. No. All right. If she still knows how to use that sword as well as older Ada, I would not push it. You're you're quiet. You don't shoot, right? Yeah, uh, I'm still thinking I should try to scout out from the rooftop. So do you want to go roof and I'll go stable? I think that's a good plan. So you sneak to the roof. You sneak to the uh, the stable. Who will come back and report? I'm quiet. I'll Whoa. just... Uh, <laughs> we have two levels? <laughs> Simultaneously. So what is that? Uh, yeah, so does that kick in now or does that wait until combat? No, it kicks in now. So uh, the seal of, of what a good nest day, you notice it in the sky. You've, you've been prepared and watching it. Um, and it... Uh, distorts for a moment. You almost see it shift and it becomes uh, probably a Firean's seal. Uh, Fieran's seal uh, as it as it shifts in the sky and seems to kind of almost hold that uh, more intensely and more permanently uh, right now. You, you have to look closely at it to realize that it is still Wednesday. So what does that mean? Um, you are visibly uh, glowing really yes. at this point. Like cool. there is there is just a, a well, large is this a second part of the curse? behind you. You look even prettier than usual. I mean co- more more competent I was than usual. Before. More competent than usual. That's what I meant. Um wonderful. Uh, so actually I have a question. So mm-hmm. is it just because this went little fast, one and two. I get both? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that means, okay. So uh, for me, so privileged authority kicks in, uh, which means others around Ada believe her to be the most dangerous slash competent. Oh no. <laughs> mm, oh, we actually, no. We actually all think that. <laughs> um, dangerous slash competent person in the room. So allies are compelled to uh, support her and enemies are compelled to attack her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my level two kicks in, which is confess guilt. So everyone in my vicinity who has guilt on their, who feels guilty, who has guilt on their conscience, uh, is made to feel the full brunt of their failures as people. They are compelled to confess, give needed information, 
uh, throw down their weapons or return stolen Now my items. understanding was she could use it, she had to use it as soon as possible, but... Hers are really passive, so they are they are activated now. In this entire so season. are they so they're just wasted on us. I wouldn't say wasted. Well, it no, it'll, it'll last through the season, so it'll okay. last so, it through the combat that you okay. guys go through too. But you guys are affected by it as well. Yeah. So, um, does anybody have anything <laughs> they feel guilty about? Yeah. <laughs> So, I, <laughs> you so, so you're both compelled to be to be honest, and also to defer to Ada as the most competent in this situation. You know, she is. Why not just have Ada walk up? I mean, I will admit, uh, I have been imagining uh, uh, her naked this whole time. Uh, if this happened to our enemy, perhaps it happens to them. Uh, they get distracted, and they do all the sorts of things uh, I do when I am attracted to people, uh, which is fantasize about them, pursue them, try to convince them that I am more attracted than I actually think I self What am I saying? <laughs> I, I don't know. I just want to quit Skywatch and move into your shed. <laughs> I... Both of you should be ashamed of yourselves. Oh, I am. I have I, written my mother. Uh, I ran from my mother because she wanted me to get married and men have no choice where I come from. I have not written her since I came here. I almost feel bad about this. You're running from an arranged marriage. And this. <laughs> oh, and this. <laughs> what are you pulling out? I'm pulling out like lots. I've... Working for them with them about a week, and I've definitely stolen lots of things. You just start, lots of feathers. You just and start quills. Pulling out and it's a folded as, piece of poetry. Oh my god! Are those my letters from the princess? <laughs> yeah. Of Blackwood Forest. Yep. Sometimes I worry my and then, like, my dad is. Bullets. <laughs> sometimes I worry my dad ain't proud of me for joining Skywatch, but then I figure he probably is. <laughs> I. I would never see And now you understand the terrible, terrible curse I'm under. So terrible. I mean. <laughs> right. Not as terrible as the curse I caused when I uh, snuck into uh, the temple of the Amoni, who are the snake people, to make love to the princess, and I accidentally unleashed a curse which uh, buried their temple under a swamp for a thousand years. Uh, which I covered up with a story about how they committed a great sin and deserved it. Um, not as terrible as that, but still terrible. All right. What I'm going to need everybody to do, it would make me really happy if any of these um, things you feel compelled to discuss, if you'll just keep them in until later, when we can go back to the pint and pitcher and have a nice <laughs> round and we'll talk about all the terrible things we've done as people and and how we're just have lots of life regrets. We'll do it after that, okay? One, uh, One time I took chewing tobacco from the store without paying for it, but I paid for it the next day. Uh, because you also want to support her, now that she's essentially given you a direct order, <laughs> you're going to have to work really hard to figure out which thing you do. <sighs> All right, I will keep it inside. It's a way I keep my feelings and mortality inside and simply make love to people instead of dealing with the fact that I will die someday. Uh, yeah. Oh. Do you do anything else? You had a plan briefly to have someone sneak in. And Corvus, see what's you're going to go inside. sneak. Are you sneaky? Yes. Great. The two of you will go scout. Do not be detected, but uh, go take a look and see which building they're in and report back. How many people, what buildings they're in. So bear in mind, the stable oh. is directly connected to the mill. They're not oh. separate buildings. Oh, there's it's the one same. building. Oh, it's one building. I thought it was two. You said there was a, oh, there's a separate door to each. Yes. Right. So one door into the stable, and then probably into the Great. main building. So I'm You're gonna, still going to go scout. <laughs> uh, I'm going to approach sneakily the, the mill, and I'm going to uh, attempt to climb to the roof Great. of it. I cast uh, Hands of Fate, by the way, just to help you guys out. So give me your stealth and then your um, uh, dexterity for acrobatics. Ooh, uh, so I have I scouting, so I can re-roll a shitty roll like this. You also have scouting? I do have Oh scouting. my goodness, we're twinsies! <laughs> uh, you do the a same thing. Well, how are you approaching the building? Uh, to come the I understand. 
what it looks like with tall grass in the wind. And so I'm sneaking through the forgotten wheat field that is next to the mill. Definitely not one. Are you nope. sure they don't have a wheat field next to the mill? There's no wheat okay. field in the city. They bring the wheat in oh, okay. and grind it to I, the flour. I still sneak. Listen, there's a hay. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to jump on the rooftops and then jump into the hay barrel right next to the... Yeah, that's probably a thing. Right next Great. to the... Um, so you want to climb sables. onto a roof that's not the building, that's yes. not the mill, and then you want to jump into the hay bale that is right next to the stable. And be super sneaky, and no one will hear it. Great. Go ahead and give me your stealth. And what was your stealth? Uh, my stealth was 16. Okay. So Y'all remember our hand signals, right? All right. Yes. Of course you do. Um, so I got, so here's the thing, if I fail, I can re-roll it. Okay. But I also it. got a stunt. So, uh, <laughs> If you're re-rolling it, then you have to re-roll it, otherwise you take the fail with, and tell me what the stunt is that you used. You don't get to keep the stunt and re-roll No, it. but, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't so get that's... both, you can't have your cake and eat it too. So, do you guys, Even though you're like, I'm gonna ask the team, field. Lauren, don't, I'm not gonna look at you, so I'm gonna ask the team. I got 14. Is that going to be enough for Lauren? That's a good. I mean, that's a yeah, good roll, but it yeah, depends on what Lauren wants and how mad you've have you broken any of her stuff in her kitchen. Uh, Tony's <laughs> casted Hands of Fate, though. Yes. So okay. if so. you fail, I can help. If we know that you fail, because I got a I got Sundays of sixteen, which is a lot, right? Uh, which you can max out at six stunts points. Yeah. Oh, I'm at six. What number did I say? <laughs> it's, the, uh, I it's whatever number's on your stunt. Point. Point. Yeah, it's six. It's the hyper logo. So I, that's obviously worth 16. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to use resources at hand. Choose a focus you don't have that falls under the same ability. You are considered to have that focus. Wait, that doesn't help us. Because I want to be able to look better, but that's not a dexterity thing. Right? Yeah, it would need to be a dexterity focus that you Oh, is this have. an exploration stunt? That's what I'm looking yes. for. Yes. Okay, cool. Then I'm gonna use uh, the upper hand. If your discoveries lead to combat within a moment. Oh. That's a good one. Yeah, let's do that use one. Use the object of your attention, then you can use oh. the plus one to perceive additional aspects of stuff. You guys all just heard about all the exploration stunts. You're, you're welcome, chat. Go buy a fantasy age. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do the object of our attention. Okay, uh, you do succeed. Yes. So uh, you scramble, kind of. It's not a super graceful success. Uh, I don't have my hat. I took it off um, nighttime. Yeah. So you you sneak up to the top of the, the roof of one of the adjacent buildings. Um, bear in mind, you're gonna need to give me a separate roll to jump into the hay bale uh, stealthily. So, but you you climb up there uh, fairly quietly. This was that was actually acrobatics. Um, We'll assume you don't do it particularly loudly. Uh, you may get up, you're on top of the roof. You can see kind of, you, you need to give it a little bit of a run to leap across the distance between the two buildings and get into the hay, the hay bale if you would like. So I'm super quiet but You could also give me, before you do that, a perception. If you would like, you don't have, like. I mean, look I would it. like to look before I leap. Seems like it could That be. seems something that this character would do. Uh, 14. Uh, 14? Okay. So, uh, you visually, you see the building, the door to the stable is closed. Um, you don't see any people, like, milling about. Ah. Took me a moment. It's really hard to, give you, it's so about. hard to give you guys signals when we're supposed to be sneaky. Uh, there is a, a hay bell you believe you could, you could jump into. I, uh, what side of the building are you approaching? She's coming from the barn side. The river is on the opposite side of the, the stable. She's coming from the. I'm. I'm going to be on the opposite side of whatever she's going. She's on. going. So that'd be the river side. Can I like Kit. get? Like, there's. Is it literally you, up against the river, or is yeah, it? Yeah, it's a water wheel, right? And then a building. Uh, you can do a ninety degree. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Can I like climb by uh, running up the water wheel? Swim up to the water wheel. I think no, the it. water wheel is like attached to the thing. I'd like leap over to the water wheel and then climb. By Do you know what a, a strap? So it's like building would be like this wide, and the yeah. water wheel would be like this wide. Uh, and then it's all river right here. I thought it was a bigger water wheel. <laughs> the water wheels aren't normally bigger than the building. I don't know. It's a fantasy age. <laughs> they need to use really big water. It's a wheels. really big water wheel. It's like it's well, I'll, fine. I'll climb up a gutter so like drain you could, then. You could sneak along that side, um, yeah. but you'll have to kind of approach from from the the side and then like sneak up. But you can go, you can climb up that side of the building. It'll just be a little bit tighter. That's fine. I'll okay. do it. Um. So, what was your role on yourself? 
Uh, 16. 16, okay, you're fine. So you kind of quietly approach the building. You two are on opposite sides. Um, for where you are, uh, there isn't an entrance around the back. There is only the side entrance through the stable. Um, so you will uh, need to climb up to the second story to get to a window. Mm -hmm. um, or you could sneak kind of bottom ground floor. There are a couple of ground floor windows as well, but they're closed up. I'm going to avoid the ground floor ones okay. and go straight for the second. Um, bear in mind, the second floor, it's probably a second story. So there's going to be like a floor between you and the anyone on the bottom floor. Oh. It's not like a two-story building. It's like you live Well, what I'll what I'll do is I'm going to lower a rope from the roof. Okay. Uh, and I'll climb down the rope to the second one. If I can't, like, if there's a floor in the way, then I can always okay. descend to the first floor. Okay. Uh, go ahead and climb. Give me your acrobatics to climb up to the roof. Uh, oh, acrobatics? Okay. I was doing strength climbing. But, oh, yeah. Sorry. Climbing. Uh, 13. Yes. Um, just make it up. Yeah. Nice. I'm going to jump into the hay barrel. All right, that is going to be strength jumping. Oh. Do you want to give me a reason for why it should be acrobatics? Uh, well, I'm going to, I have a cloak, and cloaks get tangled so easily, it's going to be dexterous hiding the cloak. Yeah, if you were like, I'm going to uh, pole vault, like I'm going to run and then like backflip and then oh, like yeah, vault like a gymnast, but that is not the explanation you gave me, so give me a jumping. You're the greatest roommate ever! <laughs> 12. You succeed. <laughs> I think it's a little easier to jump into a hay yeah. barrel. Is it one of those things where, like, I, I, you run, look it's, at it? Yeah, like, it's, you, uh, it's something six year olds that was, do. That was so. a well played uh, Mark sound cue. Yes, nice uh, you, you run, you, you furl up your cloak, you somehow turn on your back, you land on your back, you don't break your back in the process of landing in the hay bale, and then you're super stealthy. Thankfully, it was only like a. 20 foot at most drop. <laughs> it um, wasn't from the tallest clock tower. No, right? no, but you like cl close the distance and, and land in, in the hay bale. So you are now in the hay bale next to the stable. What do you, either of you want to do? Do you want to go first or are you? Uh, sure. So okay. I'll, I'm going to attach a rope to something like reliable up there, chimney. You know. Okay. Uh, and I'll lower myself down to the second floor window. Uh, and I'd like to to try to open the shutter, uh, like just okay. a bit, just enough to peek in. Um, that's gonna be another climbing. Okay. Strength climbing. Uh, 12, 13, 15. 15, okay. Uh, you're able to kind of find uh, the chimney, essentially, of the building. You you tie it on and, and start lowering, lowering yourself down on the rope. Um, give me a stealth too. Uh, that's a shitty roll, but I have scouting, so I get to yeah. roll it. That's an even worse roll, but I've got a lot of attributes in it. Four, six, seven, uh, thirteen. Okay. Uh, you begin opening the shutter uh, on the second floor, and it's it's not locked. It's just like the wooden shutters were closed, and it makes like a clatter, 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 clatter. Mm. Did you knock off a pile of books? It's fairly, it's a relatively quiet one, but there is a sound when you open it. Yeah. Like, it is not as silent. It makes like a... What do I see when I peek in? Uh, there is a, a room in front of you. There's a, like, dilapidated bed uh, in the room and kind of a small desk. Uh, it looks like there's some, maybe some scattered pieces of paper um, and a door that is currently closed. There are no people in the room. And there is a floor. You can't see the downstairs. Okay. I send a complicated series of signals indicating that... Uh, there's no one I can see from up here, but because there's a floor in the way, I think I should go in and uh, actually try to scout <laughs> from within the building. He says, uh, Give me he a. He says the birdhouse is, this a is communicate? empty. Yeah, give me a communication <laughs> performance. Uh, come on, dice. Uh, seven. Yeah, no one really knows what you're saying indicating, he but says, they seem to think that there are probably no people. You, you get across, like, no people going down. He says the birdhouse is empty, but the meniscus hides <laughs> death. Uh, Corpus, what are you doing? I want, I'm getting out of the hay barrel as soon as I know there's no people within stabbing distance. Okay, how the hell did you see him? I didn't. You are on the opposite. I can't, okay. I can't see. Okay, I was like, you're on the opposite side of the building. I'm him. looking to make sure there's no one yes. out, so I'm going to put my face through. Because if not, I'm going to drag them in and stab them in the hay bale. Yeah, that's how it works, right? Yeah. No, you stab them and then drag their body that's in right. the hay bale to hide it. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I'll do. 
And Skywatch will never find them. Yeah. I mean, your name is Corvus. You are Corvus the bird of people. Okay. <laughs> but then I'm going to get out, and I want to just... Do the staples have... I assume that they don't have windows, because it's there are animals. windows on a staple. No. So I just want to look in the staple first. So I'm going to sneak, try to go through the stable, and then, like, look You're going to, like, it. peek through the door to the stable? Yeah. Okay. So my sneak do- dice, uh, I'm pretty sure I failed, so I'm going to re-roll it, uh, is 6, 14. Okay. Um, you're able to, like, peer... You kind of have to lift... Uh, there's no latch on the outside. Okay. Like, obviously, it opens from the inside, so you're able to, like, pull it. Um, the door itself uh, is not currently locked. That's convenient. You're able to peek it open a little bit. Um, Do I see anyone in there? Uh, no, there is. Uh, there are two horses in there. <gasps> <laughs> I don't know uh, what to do. Uh, everybody give me a perception. Uh, and this is actually smelling. Uh, 14. 16. Uh, 16? 15. 15? Um, you don't really notice it. You two are actually close enough. You start smelling the smell of wood smoke. <gasps> uh, you are actually just, even though you're farther away, you had a high enough roll that you also uh, just about smell the kind of <laughs> smell of wood smoke. Lorenzo. When they point it out to you, you'll be able to notice it. Do you... Do you smell that? It smells like smoke. I do. Do you think they have already known we are coming and are burning the evidence? Hmm. There's a good chance, I think. Well, I trust your instincts. Evidence is made of iron, gold, and some other silver <laughs> that don't burn easily. I assume they took the valuable equipment with them. Corvus, um, I would like you to give me your... Uh, you can give me a perception uh, just seeing or hearing. That took a long time to roll. It was not worth the wait. Uh, ten. Okay. Uh, you don't notice it at first, but conveniently it's fairly obvious. The door to the stable into the building slams open and two people run in uh, and leap onto horses. Oh! Quickly. The horses were already tacked. And oh, they're gonna stopped. leave! Uh... <laughs> Two, okay, uh, two people uh, on horses. As you turn around to do this, uh, they literally like fling the doors, fling open as uh, the horses like trample it open and begin running this oh, from the Oh, can I just throw my stake to take down one of the horses? Uh, I need you to give me an initiative roll. Uh, okay. All Seriously, dice? Really? Five. Five? Yeah. You have dexterity now. Oh, I'm sorry. Nine. Okay. Uh, you are not faster than either of them on the horses. Uh, the horses will begin moving past you. Uh, they will, like, start booking it and uh, at a full canter down the road. The horses, the people are on the horses? There yeah, are two people two on people both of the horses. horses. Uh, let me know if I can act. Uh, Core is right to go. I'll have um, probably Tustin and then the two of you. Uh, I, am I even aware of any of this? Because I'm on the other side of the... Give me a perception hearing. Um, and both of you give me a seeing perception to see whether or not you see them leave. Five. Oh, no, six, sorry. Nope. Oh, no, wait, eight. Probably still not. Yeah. <laughs> You're on the other side of the building. <laughs> You're on the other side of the building. You don't know that. You smell wood smoke. You smell smoke. Burning. Great. 22? <laughs> 22, yeah. You see the horses. 12. And the stunt. Uh, horses? Yeah, you see some horses. Is riding away from the building. You're not 100% sure that they came from the stable, but you can probably guess that. Like, he saw the horses kick down the door. Um, like, they're panicked. Like, these animals, like, know that there was smoke. They're well enough trained that, like, the riders are able to get them to a canter and run away. But the horses were willing to trample a door and run through from a burning building. Yeah. I'm going to use my... Is burning. I'm going to use my stunt points. The horses points. definitely think it is. I'm going to use my stunt points on the object of my attention, which okay. means further checks I make to perceive what's going on. Oh, we'll have a yeah. plus one bonus. Uh, and that'll help you if you start tracking them. Yes. So the horses are, are galloping away. I wish to act mm-hmm. as soon as I have a chance. Um, I cast a spell of, like, the most fearsome thing I can think of in the moment, which is uh, Ada's, like, competency has just impressed me. So... Are the horses moving, like, are they crossing the river, or are they... Uh, no, they're heading through the city, uh, through the, the, the district. Um, I they to appear to... to be heading uh, north. I want to try to startle the horses. 
Um, so I create a gigantic 20 by 20 by 20 illusion of, uh, of like this young Ada clad in like chainmail bikini armor, like punching through the street. She's like giant and like reaching out for the horses. Like Catherine style. Yes. Whoever, I don't know what that is. But. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a game. Um, Whoa! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, DC 16. It's more to surprise the horses. But. Okay. Um, yeah. Alright. Uh, it's willpower to discipline. But. Yeah. They uh, they seem stalled for a moment. Let's see if they can actually control the horses, though. They seem to keep the horses under control, and they like dive, turn off, like pull them to the side, so they're heading further and further into the city. I'd like to act when I get a chance. Yeah. Uh, how? First of all, how on fire do I think the house or the the mill is? Do I feel like it's uh, already like on the verge of being up in blazes, or no. is it okay? Uh, but you can definitely smell smoke, and like you can, your guess would probably be like the main floor is. Uh, it's a stone building, so like. It's gonna mostly destroy like the floor and any like non-permanent things in there. The building right. itself will probably stay. Uh, forgetting about my stealth. Not done yet. So. Okay. Okay. Do you want to finish it? Beyond the spell casting? Because I stun. I stunted. Oh, so I okay. get a second spell cast with it. Okay. Oh. Um, which I use to um, just try to slap. Oh no, I can't use that as a. That's not a spell. Um, I. I insult one of the. I say, uh, you ride a horse like a, like a mole upon a pigeon. How do you know? Yes. I know nothing about this person other than riding a horse. Uh, the main thing is it does um, uh, six damage to them. Psychic damage. <laughs> All right. They I take six more. psychic damage from your insult. Uh, um, they continue riding their horse. <laughs> We're so uh, So, <laughs> forgetting about stealth entirely, I am going to rush into the building from the second floor, uh, and I'm going to go try to find the source of the fire, mm-hmm. wherever that is. I assume that's going to take me down to the first floor. Yes. Uh, what do I see on the first floor? Uh, they definitely set a bunch of bags of flour on fire. Mm. Flour's uh, really explodable. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, they, they you set a bunch of wood, like the building, and then you can see that there are some bags of flour nearby. Like, they're probably hoping that the flour will explode is it, um, and damage more of the building. Is it clear to me, like, what it is they might be trying to destroy evidence of? Or is um, it- you suspect that so the stable was mostly made of wood. The mill itself was made of uh, of stone. So they didn't set the fire in the stable, but they're, it looks like it's pretty close to the stable entrance. Their goal is probably to burn evidence that they were there and um, traces of where they would have gone to. Do I think that my ice shells would be sufficient to put out the, or is the the fire too big? Probably need a few of them to put it out. I mean, I'm willing to give it a shot. Um, Uh, Yeah, if you have, uh, your estimation would be you need to, how much damage do each of them do? uh, Well, they each do 2d6 plus six. Okay. Um, so. Yeah, you probably guess about three of them, like to create enough ice to make it cold enough to put out the fire. All right, I'm gonna attempt to do that, and if it doesn't work, I'll uh, okay. uh, I'll give up, I guess. Uh, so the first one, I mean, they, they don't move, uh, so I guess I'm just checking to see if I stunt or not. If uh, you would like to, yes, but if not, you can just roll the damage. Okay, well, let's just roll the damage then. So eight plus six is fourteen. Use that kind of as the benchmark for how cold your ice is. Uh, 7 plus 6 is 13. Awesome. 14, 13, and uh, 14 again. Okay. Uh, so you let off uh, three rounds in quick succession of icy blasts, um, coating the inside, uh, maybe probably aiming at like the flower so it's like extra cold and doesn't explode. Um, and you end up quenching, uh, quenching the fire. The blaze is cooled. There are a couple of like small bits you stamp out with your foot afterwards, um, but the building is no longer on fire. All right. Nice job. Nice uh, work. 
Maybe we can find, take a look and find some clues. And so at this point, the riders are, are we probably not, beyond. So I, I've seen them following? unless you can acquire horses. I mean, we don't have. We can't them. keep up on foot. Oh. Wait, there was only two of them, which mm-hmm. means they, out, they already left. Uh, anyone who wants to can give. give uh, who saw them? You actually had a twenty-two. Um, and a plus one on my. Yeah. So she had given you uh, the woman who you had at Skywatch had given you like a vague description of what these people looked like, and these two individuals didn't fit that description. Um, you suspect they were probably like the lackeys that were left behind to destroy the evidence um, when Skywatch was showing up, or even just just like set the blaze. If if we don't pursue these people, we may lose them. Well. Well, they, whatever they left here, it was enough information that they wanted to burn it to hide their, uh, I don't hide their ways. So maybe we should take a look around. I don't have a bullet that can chase them, so. Uh, actually, it, is it possible for me to throw that dagger? I know that I missed it in the beginning. I rolled initiative and I got lower than them. Yeah, you'd probably be able to try and throw it to them. It's going to be at a minus three, though. That makes sense. Because they're on a horseback and you're... This is your chance. Okay. Well, I didn't do it. I can, I can help you. It's nine. Minus three? No. So six. So you're off by five. Uh, I narrate, in spite of uh, their incompetence, the trip actually helps the blade to fly further, and uh, it land, just lands. And it's accidentally intended a target. We can track the Five blood points. now. Uh, yeah, so you, you land a blade on one of your wooden stakes into one of the riders. Lauren says the man of action. I know that we, it's time to go. Yeah? You going for it? Uh, well, don't look at me. Look at the uh, most yes. competent person here. <laughs> what is your question? Captain Ada. Sorry, Captain Ada. Can we go? We're going to go. Go! If you do it, if if that's okay with you, yes, we we'll would do like it. to. Okay, I'm gonna look around here, and so are you. You Is got that? it. <laughs> Let us borrow some horses. You're yes, so decisive. Borrow from where? Steal. What is the nearest thing that has horses? <laughs> uh, it's one in the morning. Great. There's got to be another industrial site that has. Yes, horses it's on. gonna take you some time to look for horses. Okay. Like they will be stabled. Uh, and they will be in some sort of location. You like, can track them, right? Yes. Well, we'll need horses to eventually catch up. So yeah. We so. will start trying to find horses. Okay. Um, I assume the city watch, like, there's probably ways for us to get horses. Yes, but you are By like stealing. you are not immediately in yeah, the vicinity yeah. of horses. It's we probably going to take you like 15 minutes to acquire yes. some horses. Yeah, you, you don't, I'm sorry, you're not like Link and you can't whistle and like summon a horse. <laughs> you whistle and then you get a sign that says like, uh, your horse yeah, is too far away, they can't hear you now. Or more like Witcher, we whistle and our horse appears on top of the burning mill. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm sorry, you don't have a summon horse as an ability that I know of. Uh, no. Come with me. We will yeah. talk someone into giving us horses. Um, so you will eventually acquire some horses. Um, go ahead and give me if you're uh, if you're looking for horses and you're probably going to talk to them to convince them. Uh, we'll use this as about how long it takes you. So um, you can give me a. Uh, actually, this would this would be an advanced test. Um, so your success threshold on this is going to be five. Do you guys know how advanced tests work? We have to succeed five times. Uh, no, what you have to do is you have to get enough stunt <laughs> die points to add up to five on successful tests. So oh. the uh, the difficulty on this test is probably easy, so we can set it at uh, 10. Oh. So every time you roll 10, either on searching or communication um, to find them, then uh, take your stunt points if you've rolled and once you get five. That, tell me how many tests it takes. I got it on my first. Oh, oh, should I keep going? Did you get it on the first? No. Okay. But I have to stunt. Is, oh, on the stunt die. On so, the stunt die. Yes. So you, have you, have to you roll higher than oh. 10, you look at your stunt die and Twice. edit, and you Twice. can't okay. remember. So it'll take you, we'll say five minutes for each test. It takes you about 15 minutes to acquire horses. Okay. Meanwhile, we're going to uh, yep. scout out the... Great. Uh, that would be a search. Uh, I'm going to use my arcane detect, uh, detection stuff. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, can I can I justify this as either seeing or tracking in terms of? Yeah, if you want to figure out where uh, people went, 
Do yeah, we I'm, I'm trying to sort of like, yeah. I'm trying to do uh, the Batman Arkham Asylum thing where he's in detective mode do, and like do, working do, out, do, 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 do. Uh, recreating the history yeah. of uh, of what happened here. Oh, like Sherlock. In. Ooh, and I stunted. Uh, 10, 11, uh, 16. So much stunts are going to happen. Uh, and, oh, uh, let's see. Uh, and I'll, I'll do, uh, whatever I find, I'll do a That Makes Me Wonder, which lets me do another perception test. Okay. Uh, to, to try to get more info, more specific information. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you had 16 on yeah. your tracking, and what did you have? So did I. Um, and I also had some stunt dice, so I will do the same. Uh, that makes me wonder. Stunt. Did you roll? So first one I'll do arcane detection. Second, I'll just do a regular perception. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. Okay, that's not terrible. Uh, so you, uh, your arcane detection. Um, you kind of cast your your feelings around the room. Uh, thankfully, you are not impeded by being uh, alive, uh, chesty right. woman. Um, <laughs> in your in your arcane searching, the room itself. Um, there were definitely a number of Magitek items that were in the room. You can't really pinpoint what they were, okay. um, but things were definitely used in this room. You suspect uh, beyond that, like you get traces of the mage, but nothing like concrete, like there was a spirit here or, or like any spells that were directly cast. Um, as you look around the room, you kind of look closer at the pile of things that were burning and there's a couple of scraps of paper in there that didn't completely burn because someone put the fire out. Um, and so you're able to pull out some things and see, you can spend a little bit of time to try and uh, yeah. understand what's on them. Absolutely. See if you can piece anything together. Uh, your tracking, um, the room itself, you can see places where like larger objects were piled or crates or boxes. You definitely notice what appears to be like a rectangular sort of thing that was dragged along the floor for a little while. Uh, like before an anvil? Like, yeah, like an anvil. Um, and a handful of like other larger crates of, of things that were moved. Um, all of it seems to eventually be directed into the stable. Um, and once you're in there, you notice uh, both just outside the stable, there are appear to be wagon marks. So um, a, some sort of wheeled cart uh, was, was there um, and mm. was probably taking people somewhere. The thing you definitely notice about it is there were no horse marks <gasps> pulling that cart. Hmm. So it was probably some sort of Magitek carriage. Um, horseless carriages, much like the uh, <coughs> Skywatch has begun, begun using, uh, which is odd. Most uh, they're expensive, they're rare, they're difficult. Like a lot of are they lot licensed? Of is there uh, in the same way that like a driver's license? Like it's not illegal to have one. Um, I know, but I'm wondering just, if there's like a registry of like. Um, no, probably can... not to the same extent. Um, they're they're not considered like. A, they're more just rare. Mm. Um, they would be an odd thing for someone to have, but you are able to um, basically uh, get a, a vague sense of where the tracks are going. Uh, and they seem to head northward, um, potentially out of the city. You would be able to piece that together based on what the person told you at Skywatch that they are no longer, their, their goals are not in the city. Um, being able to track a horseless carriage would be slightly easier than a regular one um, because it is a little bit more distinct. Um, as and, and fewer people would be using it. Mm. Um, uh, you get the sense that it was fairly heavily weighted down. It's definitely carrying a lot of stuff with it, um, given the number of things that would have been put on it. And it probably left about an hour or so ago, maybe a little bit longer. All right. Well, I found tracks from uh, one of them horseless carriages that's heading north. I think there's a good chance we might even be able to fo follow it if we're a little, if we're just lucky enough. Uh, did you guys bring your horses back to us? Yes. Or, great. Um, yeah, uh, Ada says, um, I'm piecing together what, um, there's some papers I found that they were trying to burn. Um, so I work on that for mm -hmm. a while. Do I find anything? Uh, you spend a little bit more time. It'll probably take you like another 15, 30 minutes. Um, and you're able to see a few references, like you can get snippets of a map. Um, or like uh, you get some like orders list, like things of like good, it looks like lists of goods that would be acquired um, in addition to like the gold and silver, you see like requests for precious gems and other uh, bronze um, or 
not bronze, copper, um, <gasps> other like Ooh. raw goods, things that people, that the person was requesting. Um, so you're able to piece that together. And then you get the impression that they're uh, the most common area that seems to be referred to as an area north of the city, uh, much closer to the desert. That is, um, so the Mina itself is a uh, fairly large country, but the northern portion of it, uh, like the coast, the coastal region, which is where Mina's city is, um, is fairly nice and Mediterranean and a lovely warm place all year round. And the further north you get, the closer you get to the dry desert um, in the rain shadow of the, the mountains that run alongside Mina. Okay. That separate Mina from the Azam Empire. So this is referring to an area that is much farther north, um, much hotter, much drier, uh, but a fairly, uh, at this point, still an agricultural region. Um, so it might make sense why they had access to a mill. Um, and it looks like it's near a, a city called, or a small village called um, Fethius. Fethius? Fethius. Fethius. Is that one of those P-H? No, it's uh, F-E-T-H-Y-E-S. F-E-T-H. Yes. Why? Yes. And the uh, the tracks are heading in the direction that they are heading north. Um, at some point, like they will probably turn as they leave the city. Um, you'll have to. T- it'll take you a little bit of time to track the horseless carriage. Do we get four horses? Oh, yeah. huh? Yes. Yes. You are <laughs> cool. able to acquire four horses. They all have uh, city watch logos on them. Yes, uh, we brought them. Although <laughs> city watch uh, tech. I lied to the people. And I uh, also, as uh, the person, he had a very handsome son who uh, looked of age, and I made designs to come back later and seduce his son. Why do I keep saying these things to you? Well, the, <laughs> just try not to hold it in. <laughs> yeah, it, it, the, the effect seems to be fading. Um, you seem slightly less compelled now. You're able to keep yourself to yourself. Like, Ada is still important, but she is not. I feel like Lorenzo's doing it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lor- Lorenzo's forgotten. Uh, uh, so I think we ought to follow these tracks and uh, head to the city. So, uh, this area, to be clear, we focus. also have them, them two riders that took off. But we don't think that they're probably the the main. They're probably all headed the same way, don't you think? Well, that, I think they took off. Except the, the wagon has a head start on them. Like, how many days' ride is it to the city? Um, it's a uh, one like you probably two days would be a one and a half somewhere in there. Depending oh, one on and a half days. Depending on how fast you're, you're going to spend at least a full day in transit. So we need well, to report to Skywatch. I think I think we should send them a message. We should definitely send them uh, that list of ingredients that you found. I agree. And see if we can get maybe get ahead of what other uh, types of establishments they might try to hit up. The Sky but I think we have to. I think we have to pursue them. Can we, we requisition we an airship? For this short of a distance, probably not. No. Can we get? I just thought we might be able to beat them there. I'm, uh, Skywatch probably only has like one airship, and the Queen probably we, has her own. And we don't get that till the second half of the game. Fine by <laughs> me. I'll be back to normal by the time we get there. Can have we also? Can we also acquisition uh, riding supplies? Yes, you can get horses and like camping equipment and all, like all of that stuff. You guys use horses access. to chase them now. These aren't long distance horses. Yes, yeah. the city the city guard would probably have some words if you took them for two days. But. You know, you don't have to change back if you don't want to. We, we I understand. want to. All right. Well. I, uh, the, the story I imagined telling one day was us rushing to the city to chase them, but now I see I will tell a story of us taking a longer amount of time to tra- travel to a different place, and you need a different narrative horse for such a thing. Um, if you want to spend a little bit of time, like, tracking the people in the city, you can. Um, yeah, we'd like to do that. It would be worth it since we, we could split up. Do you guys want to acquisition supplies? Do you want to acquisition supplies and we will? We're going to send a message. We're going to let Skywatch Command know that, we'll let the Watchtower know um, what we found and the list of supplies. And we'll uh, uh, get some staples and rations. I want to get a, I want to get on their tail as quickly as we can. I agree. Sitarish has not given these two who almost burnt down the city freedom from us. I did not understand what you meant. Well, does not Satarish, uh, <laughs> Satarish does not grant that freedom to anybody, but Satarish has granted them a reprieve. Look, do you two want to go after them miscreants while we 
uh, we get a head start on the road. Is that what you think we should do? Sure. And yes. If that's where your heart lies, don't let me get in the way of your fun. But uh, but we'll we'll be uh, I don't know. We'll get some beef jerky or something. We'll meet you at yeah. the northern city gates once we determine mm-hmm. if they truly left that way. Um, so you'll probably spend a little bit of time, like maybe continuing to track the wagon, um, mm-hmm. and and then head back to Skywatch to requisition the needed supplies to go on your quest. Um, as you guys begin uh, riding through the city, um, you're able to track like the, the blood as well as um, the horses. What you find is that they eventually diverge. They after they stop heading northward, um, and probably maybe a mile or, or, or so away, like they, they seem to wind through the city. You can follow the trail. Um, you notice that it becomes only one horse's trail. And then after a while you find like this horse just sort of sweating and tired uh, okay. part way into the city. Um, and then you the trail seems to go cold at that point. Like you would, if you want to give me a tracking to try and find um, where the person went on foot, they have bandaged themselves up at some point. That's based off intelligence, right? Mm-hmm. I heal the horse. <laughs> you, the horse is less tired. Uh, sorry, it's perception is tracking. And that's the same for me. Uh, 14, I stunted, so before you tell me, uh, I get the, I'm going to make that this is the upper hand, so I, as if I ever find that guy, I'm just <laughs> okay, I don't think it'll last that's, beyond I will give you. Too. I will give you my last two points for puppets, too. So. Um, you, uh, you're able to, like, track the, the direction for a little while, um, that the, the person goes. If you want to spend more time, you certainly can, but it's gonna be a while. They, they definitely are, like, my job is to set fire to things and then disappear. It's a good job. It, I don't think we need to roleplay it out. We probably would, while we wait for them, look mm-hmm. around the city, ask people, try to find them, mm-hmm. just because it could be helpful, but they're obviously not the... Like, we're Skywatch. They're more city guard. Yeah. You, you likely it is, is after a while, you'll pass them an, a, a description of them onto the city guard. And um, a horse. They, uh, and the horse the, the, the horse will be requisitioned by city guard. It is now city property. Um, Ooh, can we name it? Unless, yeah, Star you, me. you could probably keep Star it if you wanted. <gasps> like, you don't need to tell the city guard about this horse. Like, you yeah. might need to report it and check that anyone's not All right, Corvus, the horse, but, but if you're going to keep this horse, you can't kill it. Like, no matter what. Sturish wants you have yeah. to take care of the horse. I understand the use of we don't have horses where I'm from. Like they don't do well in the forest. Like this is Well you have to feed it and give it water and not kill it. Or breathe poison on it. Fair. Corvus now has a horse. Is it black? I mean it technically is gonna be requisitioned by Skywatch, but it'll be like assigned to you. Can, can it be black? Yes. <gasps> With a white hoof. But uh, Death rides in on a pale no. horse. It's got a little, uh, like a weird white, it's got one of those white stars and like some white streaks in its mane. I see like how excited Corvus is and I cast an illusion of the horse turning to Corvus and saying, Corvus Gallows, I am yours now, for now and for all time. <laughs> is this- <laughs> <laughs> Oh Jesus! I mean, like never Corvus... tell, never tell anybody. I can talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Corvus is a lot smarter than Fang. So yeah, you can roll yeah, that. Go ahead and make your, uh, I do have a natural your, war bonus, so your... I know horses can't talk. Willpower. Um, but there are You just said oh, that shoot, there aren't. It's... Perception scene. You also just said that there aren't horses in the forest. That's fair. That's with perception twelve. Uh, nope, you believe it. <laughs> I'll just, just talk to you. <laughs> okay. You so, are being forced uh, to believe. You will pass on. Uh, the city guard may eventually the find them. Um, the information from them is largely that they were literally, they were hired, uh, hired arms. Um, they were given instructions by these three weirdos who, uh, that they were going to pack up and like basically told to set fire to this building and burn these papers. Um, and if Skywatch or anyone else showed up, um, leave if they needed to. So 
they might eventually find them, but nothing particularly important will come from them. Um, you will follow the tracks they lead out of the city. Um, if you question or ask any people, um, one of the guards may recollect, like City Watch, um, will might recollect seeing a horseless carriage leave out of the north entrance. Um, but beyond that, did you get the license number of the, the what? horseless kit? You know, the license plate. That's, nope. Nope. <laughs> That's uh, not right. a thing we do here. When we, when we set out, uh, Ada turns to uh, Tustin and she says, I have something I have to get off my chest. Um, uh, I'm really disappointed in you. Disappointed. You're my. You're supposed to be my friend, and I thought we were good friends. I, I am your good friend. Well, you're... I just want to remind you that I happen to be happy with who I am the other days of the week. I don't consider this an improvement. You're right. Um, it was very selfish of me to want you to retain this voluptuous form of yours. But I would, I'm sure that in spite of the fantastic, incredible sexual experiences that would come out of it, I would miss my friend. Do you Eventually. see what this is? Oh, I didn't, I did I not notice that. I don't know what it is, what? but it changes. So I don't think, I think I'm actually switching bodies with someone. Really? I think, yes. You mean your body is somewhere out? That's what I think is going on. I have never heard of such a thing before. I hadn't either, but. That curse. I think. Is unlike any magic I I've think she's trying to write me messages. <gasps> but I don't know what it says. So on my shed days, I've been trying to put it together and I write down, I make a copy of what's on my arm because it changes every week. I don't believe I recognize that language myself. We certainly, we only speak the common tongue out in Grace Ridge. I don't speak anything but the common tongue either. So you see, when you actually know that this isn't just a form, that it's a person, it kind of changes the experience. Uh, sure, yeah. Besides, I have a wife. Yes, yes. Oh, I love I'd very forgotten. Much. Yeah, she, Yara. She doesn't Yara deserve be, this. Well, I mean, have you asked her? If she, well, she likes me. Yeah. She likes me how I am. I I like you too, how you normally are. And that's why I hate. That's why I consider this a curse. I understand. Because I. I get tired of hearing from other people how they prefer me this way. There's nothing wrong with me, Tustin, and there's nothing that I need to do to stay my Wednesday form. Because it's somebody else. So just think well, about that every time you get googly-eyed. Here's my pledge to you then. I pledge that I will find out what language that is that that writing is in, and I will help you to decipher those messages. You will? Absolutely. Thank you. So you have request, re requisitioned the required supplies. Do you leave in the middle of the night or do you wait until dawn? What's the, the plan? <sighs> I mean, I, I don't want to let the tracks yeah. go cold. So. Well, what we could do is we could tie our horses together and we take shifts sleeping. It'll be fine. So do we tie the out. wagon? Do we? We're just taking horses. Depends. You can probably get a wagon if you would like. We probably, probably know how to sleep in the saddle. Can we get faster, further if we don't take a wagon? Yes. Then yeah. wagon yeah. will be faster so, and more. Yeah. Durable. We probably yes. know how to take shifts in the saddle. Okay. So you you head out. Uh, you you leave within the hour. We. The we the witching hours of the morning, uh, probably about three a.m. You head northwards towards the town of Fethius in the north of Mina. You come from the north. You must have gone to Fethius on your way here. Yeah. And with that, we shall leave us for this evening. So we have time to read tips tonight. <gasps> Yay! Yeah. 
So we will pick up next week with episode three of Skywatch as our uh, intrepid Skywatch watchers uh, head north to a small town. I got a horse! Discover where this, got a horse. Got where a this uh, magic tech is coming from. You have received one horse. Its name is Starmy. Starmy? Da, da, da. Like a Pokemon? Da, da, da. Oh, crap. Starmy <laughs> weather. <laughs> Maybe we'll workshop that one. It's got a star on it. Does it doesn't ever it? tell anybody. <laughs> all right. Oh my thank goodness. you so much, everybody, for all of thank your support you and your tips tonight. Uh, we're going to go ahead and read those out. Uh, we truly appreciate it. Um, and it helps us keep the show going. We're excited. I can't believe there's only two episodes left, guys. I know. I know. All right, our first one from William underscore TW here is oh, dice from Neonet. What's a Neonet? Uh, I may update may the text know. at some point. Go Ada, Tustin, Lorenzo, and Corvus. Oh, um, thank Alicus. you. Lorenzo needs all the level ups. That's fair. Um, our Chaos 46, Ada, Tustin, Lorenzo, Corvus. Oh, Arden SC, you're all amazing. Skywatch has been awesome so far. All the costumes. And characters have been fantastic. Here's for Lorenzo, Tustin, Ada, Corvus, and so building towards stuff for Lauren as well. Mm. Guys, I only get stuff when my players get stuff. What is this? <laughs> Fairness. Madness. Danger guy. Here you go, Padna. <laughs> oh, a Padna. 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 Oh, Padna. 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 I hope y'all can afford to reload no. your trusted pea shooter. Oh. Oh. Uh, wishful thinker. Just the word Tustin. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Unus pro omnibus omnis pro uno. All for one and one for all for the four musketeers. Ada, Tustin, Corvus, Lorenzo. <laughs> and Chris Chief coming in Tustin time. Ha, ha. And I hope the re uh, result is ridiculous. I believe that was the manhole cover. So yes, yes it nice. was. Nice, nice. Very nice. Uh, we paradigm shift. We need Ada to do something cooler. <laughs> <laughs> and Valva for Ada because wow. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much for all of your tips tonight. Uh, we truly appreciate it. Uh, coming up after this in about five minutes is Valiant Vanquish, oh. so stick around for some awesome comic booky hero goodness. Uh, and we will be back next week with our uh, episode three of Skywatch. Ooh. Yeah, what's gonna what? happen? We're They're going to a quest. desert city. Uh, Desert-ish. It's more arid. Desert-ish. Like, it's like desert different desert tile Washington. set. Yeah. Like, yeah. Dessert. Palette Dessert. swap. Um, palette swap. Do we get to be? <laughs> There's another mill, but it's blue. <laughs> we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh wait, so we didn't sign off. What? Are we still here? Are we still here, Mike? Yeah. Mark? yeah. yeah. Ah. Hi. Hi. I'm Janine. I'm at Admiral Asma. Dan Poslins at Dan Poslins. Claudia at Jackie Dash. Lorenzo Valerud de la Croix. Forget the Tony Beeman, but he's a tiny Beeman. But and I'm yeah, Lauren at Random Tuesday. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here with Dinesh, the CEO and Chief Creative Officer of Valiant Comics, and we're here to talk to you about an awesome fan art contest we're doing for our show, Valiant Vanquished. Valiant Vanquished is a live show on Hyper RPG, which is part of Valiant Digital. I'm a huge fan myself, and I'm excited to see what you guys are going to create. The winner of the fan art contest is going to have their work printed in the back of a Valiant comic book, along with a brief editorial on your work, uh, who you are, where people can find you. It's a really, really cool opportunity we're really excited to bring you all. Head over to Hyper RPG's website for official rules and breakdowns on the characters from the show. But don't worry, it's super easy to enter. All you gotta do is upload your artwork to Instagram and or Twitter and use hashtag Vanquish, tag Valiant Comics and Hyper RPG. We'll pick some finalists and we'll be voting internally on our favorites and Valiant staff will be voting on their favorites. We'll come together to vote in the chat room live for the official winner. This is such a cool thing. I, I wish you guys the best of luck. I've always wanted to be, like have my art in a comic book. That's what I, when I was a kid, I dreamed of, but I'm just, I'm not good enough. No, no, no. Listen, as a CCO of Valiant, I can tell you right now, you are 100% not good enough. So please, someone out there, don't let us have to publish that right now.